And as they become, uh, develop this political maturity, they're able to see the recent trends in these uh, political elections. The any minority that has a block of votes that stick together is in a strategic position. Either way you go, that's who gets it. You're, you're in a position to determine who go to the White House and who stay in the doghouse. You're the one who has that power. You, you and I have never seen democracy. All we've seen is hypocrisy. When we open our eyes today and look around America, we see America not through the eyes of someone who has, who has enjoyed the fruits of Americanism. We see America through the eyes of someone who has been the victim of Americanism. We don't see any American dream. We've experienced only the American nightmare. We haven't benefited from America's democracy. We've only suffered from America's hypocrisy. And the generation that's coming up now can see it and are not afraid to say it. 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 Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Black Westchester Presents, the People Before Politics radio show, every Sunday, 6 to 8, on InTheMixRadio.com. Uh, we got a full show, full show, very, very full show, scheduling, conflict, and all that. So real quick, real quick, let me clear the air. Let me, um, 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 um. so we have, we have, we have Lorraine Lopez, who does a lot of our scheduling, and then we have... Brenda Crump, who always comes up with these great ideas. You know, you should have this guest on and this guest on. Brenda so, so, so Brenda holds us down, and Brenda says, "Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do a, um, a show with um, something, something about Veterans Day." I'm trying to get through the election. I'm like, anything after the election. She's like, "Yeah, but the Sunday, pick a Sunday after the election." She picks a Sunday. Yeah, she picks a Sunday, and then it was cool. So then, um, last week, Lorraine said, "You know, we should have a Winter Circle show." But we bring back all the winners of all the people that have just won the election. Ah, oh, that's a great idea. So I'm like, yeah, run with that. So bottom line is I told Brenda to go ahead and schedule the show, and I never told Lorraine, and I told Lorraine to go ahead and schedule the show. So now we got a combination of the two. And then my brother Rashad, so my, brother Rash, right my brother Rashad Bilal, who uh, hasn't been able to come in a couple of weeks to give us, like, um, some, 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 some definitely financial tips, he's in the house too. So we have a full show. Uh, Dr. Bob will not be here today. He's handling some business. Black by popular demand. Damon K. Jones will be uh, here some at some point. Um, and uh, it is me. And switching screens real quick, we have Brenda L. Crump and Lorraine Lopez in the house. So now that I got all of that out the way, because I'm like, yo, I'm chilling last night, and Brenda made the nice little pretty – you know, thing with the guy on it, and Lorraine's like, "Yo, but wait, what happened to the the, the candidates?" And I'm like, "Huh?" But I, but I like, took baseball. Huh? I know, I know, but I'm like, it's one o'clock in the morning. I'm, I had a drink or two. They having a little gathering. Yeah, I think I'm we like, were both drunk. I'm like, I'm not even thinking about like, yo, we'll take care of that in the morning. So anyway, so that's what happened. It was all on me. I own that one, and now we're gonna make it happen. That's good. That's yes, yes, show. yes, yes, yes. So, um. We have, I know we have a couple of people in the house. Um, Rashad can actually come in whenever he wants and sit in the seat over there by the DJ booth. Um, and um, let's get my brother, uh, uh, Mayor-elect Andre Rainey in the house of Peak Skill because he came the furthest. Let's get him in here a little bit real quick. Damon said he'll be here in a few. And Damon will be here in a few. Good evening, good evening. You know good evening. Your, your mic, your button for your mic over there, you know what button it is? Okay. If not, I got to get Cruz to show you. Because you control your mic. Yeah, there's a button over there. Uh, you are at one, two, three, four, four. So, well, well, well first off, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yes. Thank you, thank you. So, 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 so That's now. That's so pretty now, amazing, so man. So, first, first, I don't know, were you the youngest city council person in the city? Uh, Peaksville, I, I would have been, okay. but my uh, my uh, 
My teammate, Vanessa Agudelo, she is now the youngest. Okay, so you were. Yes. So okay, so that's the point. Of, are you now the youngest mayor? I am the youngest. Mayor. Okay, so we had that's a situation. Not, not, not to compare, and hopefully we'll have different results. Okay. You had a one-time city councilman who made history as the, um, the youngest city councilman, and ran for mayor. Mm -hmm. And um, how many terms had Frank been the mayor? Frank has been. He was mayor for two terms. Okay. Two so terms. the deep zone, um, and and then became made history as. Um, the youngest mayor the youngest in the, mayor. Pe Pe the history of Peekskill. Yes, sir. So that alone deserves another round of applause right there. <laughs> Brother doing his thing. Um, good. Good. A lot of times, you know, you'll find the older people will say, you know, wait your turn. Uh, you know. Oh, I heard that a lot. Yeah. yeah that a lot. <laughs> wait, wait, wait your turn. <laughs> um, you're not ready yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you don't know enough. You haven't lived enough yet. All that kind of stuff. That's right. Um, but uh, you're doing your thing, and I talk to a lot of people out there, um, especially on the various uh, Facebook groups. Oh, goodness. Y'all have a lot of Facebook groups. <laughs> and um, and um, basically, I saw a lot of love across the board, black, white, in between. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it was a beautiful thing. So uh, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate That's it, awesome. Brother. Now, right out the gate, if you could say, like, I know you got – you know, you got your you working on your transition, I guess. Yeah. Um, how receptive have have you reached out to? Have you had a conversation with the current mayor? Yes, I definitely did. You know what? Um, I I, I appreciate uh, the level of respect that I had from him um, after the campaign. Mm. Know, during the campaign, might have been a different story. Right. But he actually came over to the um, to the Bean Runner Cafe where our celebration party was the night of the election. Oh, okay. And congratulated me, and um, you know, I let him come up and say a few words. That's Just, that's huge. You know, so yeah, you know, it, it was it was a big moment. It's, and this is we're making history in Peace Kill, So I think that you know a, a positive transition would be the best thing to do for the both of us. Right, right, you right, 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 right. Because we we've seen with other cities, um, not to not to isolate Mount Vernon in this one, but other cities, period, municipalities, where um, the outgoing mayor, um, trying to pull a couple of monkey holes in the the right. upcoming mayor's situation. Right, right, you know right. what I'm saying? And you know. And then there's, there's a, like a real like you didn't know the campaign. It seemed like the campaign never ended. You know what I'm saying? It's <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> well, I mean, it ain't over yet. Yeah. We still got a few more weeks. <laughs> but um, so far it's been it's been pretty you know pretty peaceful. We've uh, I reached out to him um, it was a couple of days ago, and um, we're we're doing the transition process very positively, and um, it seems like it's gonna be real smooth. <coughs> now, now, are there any things? Um, because I I've, I've come to find out one of my favorite sayings is. Even a broken clock is right twice a day, mm -hmm. even if just for a minute. Of course, twice a day. So, and my my point is, one of the things I learned about doing a lot of stuff we're doing, you have to throw the words every and all out the window. All cops are not bad. All black people right. are not good. You know what I'm saying? Like just, right. you know what I'm saying? So, so are there any things and policies and things that um, Frank? What's his last name? Can, can, Cat Catalina. Catalina. Yes. Uh, Mayor Catalina. Yeah. Um, was was moving towards or working on that you would like to continue and expound on. I'm not the things that you want to change. Oh, okay. What what are the things that did you is there anything that I'm you I'm glad would you worded it, worded it like that because one of the things that I was saying during my campaign is we're not you know I'm not stepping up to this plate to try to change the direction of everything. Cause right. Peacefield's actually going in a great direction. Right. It just needs improvement in a lot right. of places. Right. Right. And leadership was the most important place for me. Right. Right. And that's what inspired me to run in the first place. You right. know, the lack of leadership, the disrespect. There's a lot of things that I saw that didn't define. Peekskill. Right, right, right. And our leadership and being the face of our community, we might we need to do much better than that. Right, right. And right, I think right. the people spoke this election. That's what right. they agreed to as well. I, so. I, I see around the around the county the people spoke. Yeah. Now yeah, now it, yeah. it could have a lot to do with the president and the dissatisfaction of the president. Mm -hmm. But Democrats came out in large numbers yeah. this election. Oh, without a doubt. Um you saw it on the county executive <laughs> Um, level. Um, you saw it on the Malver uh, Yonkers um, uh, pr uh, uh, council president level. Mm -hmm. um, you saw it on several levels, and I think they, I think they, in the county legislature, I think they got a couple more Democratic seats. Um, you know, in the in the in this thing too, which they would have needed to reveto Rob Astorino when he, um, right, right. you know what I'm saying. So yeah, yeah. they may actually Good have the numbers Rob. now. I, 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 no, 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 no. They may, they may actually, they may actually have, they may actually have the numbers now. So, um, the, the the people have spoken, but that's good and bad, because now, 
we have a Democratic um, county exec, and we may have a Democratic legislator. Um, you can't blame the Republicans for what goes on now. Like, like, <laughs> it Ooh, can't be the Republicans' fault. Oh, you know what that, that's a good thing. That's a good yeah. thing, though, because you can make people accountable for what they're going to do. Right. You know, I mean, during a time like this, the momentum was up. You know, people wanted to see change. They want things to be different. And it, a lot of it comes from being on top, you know, the, the president being where he's at. I think it's, it made people more aware of how important their voice is right. when it comes to picking who you want in that office to represent you and your people. Right. You know, so... I wouldn't say it's his fault that everybody's involved. I think he just made people more aware. Right. So people came out and spoke, you know, they, they, they voted for what they want to see. And now we have to be held accountable for it. You right. know, going forward, I mean, it always should be like that. Right, you right, know, right. it always should be like that. Whoever's in office, we ha you know, they need to be held accountable for it. But but also they came out, we had this conversation earlier for the con um, the, con con the constitutional convention. Right, 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 right. You know, right. a lot of teachers, a lot of teamsters, a lot of union people that usually don't come out and vote came out to vote specifically because of that. Right. And and most of them were Dems. Right. And, right. and another thing, you also having some experience in the music business. Yes. Um, I've, I've had this conversation. I just was talking to somebody last night. I was like, the last time a white man stood in front of this country and said he was going to make America great. And that was his campaign slogan. Mm -hmm. Oh, gave, Jesus. It gave He's a birth, still alive. It gave a birth to groups like Public Enemy, X-Clan, all that positive. Right, when we right, talk about right, our music, right. and we talk about Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Oh, under the Reaganomics, oh, oh, under, right, Reagan, right. under Reaganomics, and going into the first Bush, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You got the Public Enemies, the X-Clans, that, that, that movement of music that encouraged us, that educated us, that whatever. Na na now we have, again, we're back to another white man <laughs> in the front of this country talking about he's going to make America <laughs> great. And we're heading in some directions that right. I believe that, since history repeats itself, you're going to see, you may never see another KRS and another Chuck D. Right. But you're going to see this generation's version of whatever that is. Or whatever that was. And I believe right. that that's going to repeat itself in the music, and you're going to see a lot more of that, a lot more activism, a lot more. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I, was, I, I could definitely see that. It's like a balance. You know, things get things get cold. You got to get things hot. Keep it warm. Right, 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 right. I, right, 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 I right. see that happening. So yeah. what would what would you if you ideal transition? You also congratulations um, did something that a lot of people are not able to do. You not only um, unseated an incumbent, an incumbent, yeah. You also brought in. You campaigned with three city council seats. And, yeah, and got, got the them elected. Like, you know what I'm saying? Wow, so you moved, slate. you moved in. Yeah. Oh, that's so, so you amazing. moved in with a slate. Like I mean, that's that's a big deal. That's yeah. So amazing. say everything goes your way. I mean, you know, this is politics, though. Right. What would you want your first 100 days to look like? I want it to look like a <coughs> powerful, <coughs> inclusive, positive forward direction. Okay. Um, like I said, there, there's so much to be thankful for in our city with the new development coming in. Um, you know, and the, awesome. the, the community just just coming together. You know, to 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 understand what we have as as a unit. You know, we're we're not just a, I'm not just a mayor elect. I'm actually a person who's involved in the community. So it it doesn't feel like um you know one of the things I realize is when I'm when they when they announced the numbers that night. You know, people were writing me, friends were calling me, contacting me. They said that they felt like we were in. You know, right, right, it's right, not right. like, oh, okay, he's a mayor, he's gonna do whatever he does. Like, you know, because I, I was the same way when I voted for mayors in the past. It's like, okay, we got that mayor in, cool. What are they right, gonna right, do? Right. You know, now it's like we got one of us in there. Right. And you know, and the people that don't know me, they feel like, you know what, he's one of them, but he's also one of us. Right. You know, mm -hmm. he understands both sides of the spectrum. He understands the, the those over here who are challenged and those who are over here who are doing well. Right. You know, and I can relate to both sides, and I think that's the difference between me and the previous or. The, the incumbent mayor that, that's there now. Okay, okay. And I think that, that makes a, a big difference in where the city goes. Okay, okay. Yo, how, how did it feel when you went home at, at that night? Like, did you sleep? Uh, like, <laughs> yo, how did it feel, though? Tiring. No, you know? but, it, but, but, it, but, but, what? <laughs> I mean, like now you know what I can I, honestly it hasn't even fully sunk in yet. I, right, I think right, I've right. seen people around me enjoy it more so than I have you just now. You know it hasn't. It's um, it, I feel like we put so much work into it. I'm just grateful and thankful, oh, but I don't think it's hit me yet. I think you know maybe as it gets closer to the new year, yeah. you know, when the, when the things start coming my way of you know you know Monday for example we're actually planning our um you know the the, the inauguration and everything. Oh, yeah, okay. so. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So in the, the meeting on Monday, I'm going to be sitting next to the mayor just to kind of get an idea of how the meetings are going to be run. 
Right. You know, and I think during during that day or that time, I think that's when it's going to start soaking in a little bit. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm just like, you know, reaching out to people, just saying thank you. And, you know, my, my brother was here from Vegas. He came up to support um, um, friends from Brooklyn all over. Just, you know, everybody was crying and just, you know, we made we, we, we did make history because it's the, the youngest right. mayor and only the second black mayor. So I'm just I'm just excited, you know, but uh, I don't think it's soaked in just yet. Yeah. That moment of, uh, wow, you're <laughs> You're the mayor. You did it. You know. Now, now you so. know. Now you know. So now, awesome. now, now you know. You know. With history, you have that. Um, to whom much is given, much is expected. Oh yes. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So mm -hmm. you know, you you uh you you you're the youngest. So you you the people are gonna be looking at you. Listen. You, you gonna have you got you have people that's gonna you gonna have your people that that's praying for you that mm -hmm. really want to see you. And then you have our people that's doing other praying, P R E Y, praying and laying and praying for your downfall. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right. you know what I'm saying. They, but right. everybody's gonna be watching to see what, waiting for that time to see. I told you so. You know, waiting for right, that right, moment. Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So there, everybody, there's a lot of people waiting for that moment. A lot of people, I can say, uh, during the campaign, that was one of the, the 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 concerns. It's just like how much experience does it take for a person to be in this position? You know, and um. With that being said, I think the the previous mayor used that to his advantage. And I mean, that, and that's what they do. That's yeah, yeah, you know, it's not like I, I've been here for two terms, so there's nothing that he can do. That's but he begins to tell you that he came into it eight years ago with no experience. Right, you know, but you know, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like my, my thing is every everything that I've put myself into, I started out with no experience. You know, as a musician, as a rapper, I didn't wake up one day just being an MC. You know, that was I had to actually get in that studio and put the work in. But once I got in there did pretty good, you know, and it's the same thing with any job or any employment that I've ever had, you know, I, I do exceptional to every job I've ever had, mm. you know, I always try to move up, if I can't move up, I try to move out, you know, it's mm -hmm. if after a certain amount of years, if I don't see myself being in one position for 25 years, mm -hmm. unless it's like the highest position in that, you know, in that area, mm -hmm. so, um, I see this as another stepping stone, it's like, okay, listen, I, I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna do what I can, but I, I have to prove, not only do I have to prove to the people who doubt me, but for those who believe in me, right, you know, right, right, the last right. thing they want to see is somebody that represents them get up there and do the wrong thing. Right. You know, it or makes or it, or make or the fail bad choices. Or make it look bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's yeah. like the pressure's on, but that's what motivates me. But you know what, AJ? I think that um, his definitely his disposition, the way he handles himself when he go in, mm -hmm. that even uh, although you're young and this is your first experience at being mayor, people will cut you some slack if you don't go in with this arrogant, cocky, right. know-it-all mm -hmm. attitude, don't want to listen to anybody, don't want to you know, hear your um, previous people who've been there, uh, who've been familiar. there, done that. I'm that just saying. Familiar, yeah. I say yes. I'm, I, but, you know, people will accept that. They right. will um, welcome, okay, well, he's new, so give him a chance. Mm -hmm. You know, it, yeah. I, I think you, just listening to you now and kind of reading up and following you, right. peak skill as you were going, I, I think you're probably going to do okay with that, as long as you kind of keep that. Yeah, that attitude, so. yeah, that, that humbleness, humble. so, so right. humble and humility, yeah. so he, and being grateful and thankful to the voters who got you in. Right. So he might, he, out he, might, he might also make the history of the first mayoral candidate to record a rap video <laughs> just before his election. Hey, hey, hey. an entire slate with him. Uh, um, <laughs> congratulations. Thank you. Um, and I don't know if you remember, I think the last time I was here, which was a long time ago, I think you was here. I'm not sure. It, I think... Somebody called, like somebody called and was trying to discourage you. Yeah, Might yes, be your, your yes, aunt. Yes, that was Miss Miss Brown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, nah, I bring, nah, exactly nah, nah that's, like, that's important. That's important because that was a while ago, too. And that was actually the last time I was here, and I remembered it. I didn't recognize your face at first, but when you started talking, I'm like, okay, I'm, I know the brother. Right, right. But that right there is powerful because he was running for a ca council. Council, yes. And somebody called, somebody that knew him personally and was telling him, like, they're using you. I remember right, it. Right, right, they was right, like, right, they're right, using right. you. They're using Don't you know, do I'm it. Saying. You're not ready yet. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that's and he right. kept his composure. He was just like, okay, da, 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 da. And obviously, he didn't let that discourage him. So right. people always will try to discourage you. But congratulations. That's just a great story because now he's the mayor. Thank so you, obviously, man. you know, he didn't let that negative energy discourage him. He just kept going and... It worked out for him. Yeah. And they tell you sometimes, you. sometimes haters don't come from the outside either. You know, sometimes, you sometimes, lying. sometimes in laws <laughs> become outlaws. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Hey, good morning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But but shout to your aunt because I'm sure I'm, I'm going to hear from her. Oh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you done had rain down there again. <laughs> So I'm like, yo, so. yeah, she she give me the uh, she give me the business, boy. <laughs> I'm like, yo, but you know, and I say it out loud, like when I told her, I said, yo, you can't get mad at me. If the other side won't talk to me, 
Right. So you say I'm only telling one side. Mm -hmm. I'm telling the story as best as I'm informed. Mm -hmm. If I reach out to these people and the only thing they've ever sent me was that they were running, you know, when they announced their slate, yeah. they have never sent me anything else other than that. You know what I'm saying? They have never responded to any emails. They definitely didn't respond to any advertising emails. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, so, that's, that's what so, she's there for. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so like, you can't get mad at me. Like, I can't, I can't go in your head and get your side out. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I write the story with the best. And I was like, we contacted the mayor, and he wasn't available. You know, and that's it. Simple you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. Right. So I, I hope that you have a more open-door policy as the mayor. And, you know, whether it's positive mm -hmm. or negative, that you you address the press or leave sh release your statements or you know at least yes. you know because uh, that that becomes a problem for us you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. when we're trying to get we you know I I was already feeling you and I wasn't really feeling the other guy you know what I'm saying not yeah. that I had a, a, a horse in the race but he made it so much easier to write more about you when he wouldn't talk to me right. so you know what I'm saying like I, I tried you know what I'm saying so you know that I want to say and the other thing I want to say the coolest thing. You always can tell the character of a person, not by what they do and say in your presence, but when they do when you don't know they're watching. And I don't know if you know about so, so um I know somebody was trying to meet you at the train station. I guess they didn't see you. And some lady was parked far away from, and she had a cane oh, yeah, or something, yeah, so and she <laughs> was walking to her thing. And he went to her car, and he walked oh. her the whole way. And people start snapping the pictures, and you couldn't know because they were far away right, from right, the back. Right. And I was like, see, that's the character of a man, what he does when he doesn't know people are watching. Can now, you let the folks that just tuned in who this man is we're talking about? This is uh, Mayor-elect Andre Rainey, Peekskill, New York. Uh, uh, the main history, the, uh, the youngest city councilman um, at the time uh, just made history again as the youngest mayor of Peekskill, New York. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, so... I, I'm really encouraged, and we wanted to do this, and thanks to Lorraine, this was her idea. We wanted to do like a winner's circle, and um, no disrespect to nobody, especially the artists who didn't count a robbery to come down and spend time with us mm -hmm. during their, you know, when they're running and stuff, you know, they right, considered right. us important enough to show up. Right. Well, those are the ones we invited when they won. Right. Those, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> those who didn't think we was important enough to show up. When they were running, I, I, I don't care if I see them today. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I manage yeah. I will say, um, you know, uh, the, the rest of my slate, you know, they're kind of just, like, recouping, getting back to right, life right. for a little while. Right, you know, right. I know uh, Vanessa Aguadelo's out of town. Um, Colin was actually going to join me today, but he had a family emergency. And uh, I think Ramon is just trying to take it light with his family again. Right, but I mean, they've been here, though. Race. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah and, was, and what's the young girl you said? Now, she's the youngest now. 25 years old. She, wow. she amazed. I was impressed with her and her. Her appearance here. Yeah, I was thoroughly was impressed with her. Very, very smart young lady. Yeah, yeah. Very, very smart. So it looks lady. like you have, you know, you have to go in, you, you know, you know you don't know it all, you're young, you know, so mm -hmm. you know there are people that you can, you know. He's going in with to, an to open get, mind. To get, to get, um, you get, you know, I always say like Mayor Davis. Mayor Davis in Mount Vernon has a wealth of knowledge. Right. Now, I've said this plenty of times to his face, so. But you got to navigate through the bullshit to get to it sometimes. But but he does have a wealth of knowledge though, yeah, 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 and sometimes yeah. sitting there you listen four hours, you might only take, be able to take twenty two minutes of what he said. Right, right. But, right. You know what I'm <laughs> but those, but that what he said, twenty two minutes is powerful though. though. Right, right. You know right. what I'm saying? So yeah. you know, as long as you are willing to, um, you know, listen to the elders, the the elder mm -hmm. states persons, you right. know, not not on some old oh you can't do it this way. You know, you take what they. And then you know how we do. We adapt right. it to what we do. You right. know what I'm saying? But you're willing to listen. Mm -hmm. I think that will be what will set you apart from other people, yeah, young yeah. people. I agree with you 100% yeah. on that, yeah. too. Yeah. And, don't, and please do not be it's another. Experience. And please do not be another social media. Um, oh, listen. Cory like. Booker. <laughs> Cory Booker. Like, Cory Booker. Um, and even Mayor Thomas, when he first got into office. Yeah. yeah I thought he was Curious George. You know, you know, remember the books? <laughs> Curious George goes to Washington. Curious George goes to the zoo. Right, right, That's right. A, Yo, every five minutes. <laughs> Mayor Thomas goes to Washington. Mayor Thomas goes to the zoo. Yo, I was like, yo, Curious is this Curious George, 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 George or what? Like, well, this is what's like, wrong with that? We're but, telling the people but no, every no, no. step you That's made. good. That's good. But let's now go two years forward. What have you done governing and change legislation right, and right. change the quality of life for your people? Um, Four-hour bouncy park, um, you know, pop-up barbecues, which <laughs> in the area where I live does change as an escape from reality for four hours. Mm -hmm. People but people don't know how they're going to feed their food family. They don't know how they're going to beat this eviction. They don't know how to do, you know, so you got some music and you got some free food 
and you maybe got some basketball on the front, right. and for four hours you escape the reality. Right. But you like that classic joint, right. right after that, when they sweeping all that up, back to yeah. life, yeah. back to reality, yeah. and it's just like, yo, you didn't do anything to change the quality of life for those people. Right. Now, right. I think that's a good thing, but it, not as a, an answer, as part of a solution. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. But that's not the solution. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So those kind of things. And, um, you know, like I said, I was Cory Booker in, 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 in Newark. Like, he, he was the most flamboyant. He was everywhere. <laughs> everywhere. You wasn't there. He was everywhere. Mm -hmm. But when he left the city, he left. What's the new mayor now? Um um, Barack. Yeah, he yeah, left. Yeah, yeah. He left the city in a mess. I talked to him a few times. Like the city was horrible when right, he got right. there. He didn't really do too much. There. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, right. okay. but 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 he looked good though, and like Kyrie's George, he was always going somewhere. Well, that, I mean, you know you know what 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 that, that's what that's what people are used to politicians being. Like it's just you know, I, I mean, even when I ran for council, people were. You know, um, the guy who ran for mayor last election, his name was uh, Ken Martin. He was a phenomenal, right, 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 phenomenal right. man. Right. I mean, he was very dedicated. And he, I mean, I think he knocked on more doors than I did. And he's probably 20 years older than me. Right. You know, he had the energy for it. But the thing is, you know, people would tell him that they, they were going to vote against him, not because he wasn't a great candidate, but because they just remember seeing the other guy at every event that they had. You know, whether it's a, a block party or a fish fry. You see, that the same thing with Mount Vernon. Davis will go. When he got yeah, beat they, by they, Clinton, go. when, Davi when Mayor Davis got beat by Clinton, those whole four years he was out, he was still at every barbecue, yeah, every christening, every wedding. He, 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 he shows in your backyard. Go. In your backyard, you, somebody's yeah. having a hundred. He just Aww. show up. He's he's a baby. He's <laughs> have a hot dog. You know, so the whole four years, right. he was still the people's he's mayor. The people's right, right. right. <laughs> uh, what, what, what the former mayor? Well. Yeah, the all he had a former mayor. Was he a Republican or a Democrat? He was a Republican. So, yeah. so you gonna fire a lot of people? <laughs> <laughs> so, so this is our resident. This I is mean, this is our resident Republican. That, I mean, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, seriously. Okay, good, good. oh, that's right. Yeah, but I'm not a Trump Republican. <laughs> we gotta remember, the, I'm the not a Trump Republican. The Astorino gal. I'm not here to. You know you're gonna fire. I'm not here to terminate. I'm not here to destroy people's financial life. I'm. I'm just here to make sure that we make the right choices going forward. I want to make sure that we improve where we need improvement. And and that and that comes with a lot of your people, right? That have that, your vision. That that comes with people that have my vision, but also people who don't mind trying to collaborate and share a vision. Because my vision might not be the perfect vision for for everybody, mm -hmm. but if if there's something that you see that you think needs to be corrected and you want to correct it this way, and I want to correct it that way, I'm sure there's a way we can both say, you know what, let's try it, let's try to do this, let's try to put it in the middle, yeah. and, and and make it work. That way, you won't get hurt, and your family will be stable. I won't get hurt, <laughs> my family will be stable. My supporters will think I'm crazy, but we'll actually be able to go forward and make it happen. All right. You know, so I'm not, this yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there could be a couple of commissioners, directors, or what, yeah, managers I mean, or it, whatever there's, that there's would always, like to see it another way for, and can say, you yeah. know, Mr. Mayor, yeah. you know, if we could do it this way, you know, mm. it'll work, and right, and yeah. that'll be, yeah, right. that's cool. And when I say improvement, like what I said, like when I when I walk in that office, I don't walk in there with this 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 king on king throne on my head saying I'm the ruler now. It's just like, all right, let me see who is here and how they've been working and why it hasn't worked for these people or mm -hmm. why it isn't going to work in the future for these people and how I can get these people to look at it from my point of view you know one of the things I noticed um, um and that's this is not an attack or anything but you know one of the things the mayor has made a statement saying that uh, he walked to uh, this neighborhood in Peacekill New York called Bowman Towers mm -hmm. um, one of the low-income housing yeah, places right. here. so he had made a statement st saying that um, you know he was disappointed at the housing director because he walked in Bowman Towers one day and it was so filthy when he got home before he walked in his house he had to take his clothes off <laughs> in the garage and leave him out there and it's like Wow, you'd have to. We've been fighting for low, 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 low income housing issues for years, you know. But during election season, when you actually go there, now you see what we're talking about, right? You know, so it's it's just a point of view thing. So when I get in that office, the people who are actually already there, mm -hmm. maybe I can bring them to that low income housing area. Maybe I can bring them to this to this basketball court where these kids are playing, or to the school where these kids aren't getting the education they need. Maybe I could just say, listen, maybe you're moving that way not because you don't deserve the job. But maybe you just don't see what I see over here. I, you know, so yeah. you you could be Republican. Yeah, I, listen, it's not, it's not a listen. If you're, it's, it's not, not like a cooties or nothing like that. Maybe they support Trump, then you gotta get rid of him. Uh, no, no, yeah, you listen, gotta let him Trump, go. Is, Trump ain't, got, uh, uh, you know, yeah. he ain't got it all upstairs. But if you see things from where you are, 
that's probably why you move the way you do. But if you see things from where I am, maybe you'll understand why I'm moving the way I move, and then we can actually collaborate. I hear you. So that, that would do be you the have, do, you have, do you have residency requirements vis- of your commissioners? Uh, most positions are three years. No, residency requirements that requires them to live in the city. With it, like, the to be on the board? Or the commissioners. Like to be commissioners. Yeah, yeah. Fire, police. Yeah, more, um, well, not no. They, I mean, we've gotten uh, we we get lists for for the fire department and for um, you know police. But I mean, like your DPW commissioner yeah, or yeah. your commissioners. I mean, yeah. the, the, I don't even like know. my brother has a resident requirement. Yeah, they, no, they, they have, have to, to be a resident. Okay. But um, like the city manager, but, but, for example, he had to move to Peekskill. Right. Okay. That's what I'm saying. But right. The that's DPW what I'm saying. department head, for example, doesn't live in Peekskill. But see, that's, oh, you're gonna and make that and he's the one I want. And he's the one I want to talk about too. You know, that's a good. That's a good question. Because I said because you want your. You want your DPW, specifically that guy, mm-hmm. you want him to drive over the same potholes going home that you have to. And you, you know what I'm saying? I know where you're at. You know, so, I mean, you know, if he, but, case in point, when Mayor Davis got out of office, yeah. Richard Thomas got in, now he's not driving everywhere, having people driven him everywhere. He's actually walking. Yo, he's like, yo, AJ, these sidewalks is effed up. Mm-hmm, yo, they've been mm-hmm. effed up for a while, but right, you know, you've been driving right. by him, though. <laughs> Once you started walking on them like us, he was like, yo, <laughs> these sidewalks is jacked up. Right, that's right. Yeah. When you hear, you see what we see. You yeah, know? yeah, so yeah, that, yeah. That, that's a great, you know, <laughs> we're working towards the <laughs> You know, in Yonkers, in Yonkers, there was a couple of directors and commissioners that lived in Yonkers when they got the position. After a couple of months, they moved away. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, okay. Bastards. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. <laughs> I'm telling you. One word for me. Yo, I was pissed. Yo, yo, just, just but, I, but also, I think it's important for people, anybody at Peace Corps that's listening, anybody anywhere, it's important to work with your elected officials, too. Like, right. you right. can't expect somebody to become your savior. Right. And I think that's the problem, especially right. in African-American right. communities, black communities, Hispanic communities. For a long time, we've been voting for over 50 years. Right. Our situation really hasn't drastically improved because... Right. We have to start doing different things. So, of course, we want representation. We want people that have our best interests. But we have to realize that ultimately you got to take self responsibility and take power in your community and take pride in your community and then work with the election. But you can't. One person cannot change, whether for the good or the bad, even Trump. Like one person, you can't blame one person for everything, good or bad. So, you know, I think that it's, it's it's a beautiful thing that you're elected. And I want the people to work with you and not just expect, okay. One of us got in. Right. My Was friend got in. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. give me something. Right. Nah, you got it. That's, <laughs> not, how, that's not how it works. We got, we got a um, question from the audience. Okay. Um, what are your hopes for Peekskill? My hopes for Peekskill is to be a more inclusive city. You know, I think people look at what's going on up top and they figure that it's going to trickle down. So okay. I, I think Peekskill can be that city where we start from here and we set an example going outward. So the, you know, sister cities like Austin and Croton and, and, and Terrytown, like, They'll look at what we're doing and want to work with us, and that way we can all collectively do something as a county, and then just you know go f- go further from there. You know, it doesn't have to always be whatever's on top is going to be what it is. You know, we know that local government is the most important right, right, government, right. and by by making mm. a stance on that side, right. we make the decision on how our city is going to be run. Right, and as right. long as we show people around us that, I think instead of it trickling down, we'll trickle our way up. Right. Another know? thing I would like to see, if, I don't know, if, you know, I'd like to see more. Um, to make a real difference, the young Dems mm-hmm. to be more, you know, throughout the county, mm-hmm. to be working together more. You know what I'm saying? Because what I find out is um, from doing this show a lot, and from doing Black Westchester, I will talk about an issue, and the, and the attitude will be like, oh, that's Greenberg, that's, that's, that don't affect us. Oh, that's Mount Vernon. That, that, you know, right, that's, right, right. But if, if it affects one of us, it affects all of us. Right. Or some way. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we don't understand mm-hmm. that. And we need to be more, working more together you know what I'm saying? Because th- there might be some way that they, some of the government handles a certain thing in young, because you never even thought about that. You'd be like, yo, that won't work exactly, but if we tweaked this a little bit, that, that'd be right. perfect for us. You know what, I, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? So, yeah, and yeah. I, you know, it's funny, because I, you know, I lived in, Lo- my father was in the Air Force. I lived in Vegas for about 12 years. Okay. And we, also, we also lived in Germany for about three years. What part? So, Bremen? Uh, I don't remember. Oh, okay. When I was in Germany, I was like two, oh, okay. two five years old. <laughs> okay. I mean, I got pictures. <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can find That's out how he knows you the part, right? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the video, but um, <laughs> I do remember living in Vegas for those 12 years, but um, I think being in Germany and also growing up in Vegas, I see things over there that my colleagues in Peekskill will probably never be exposed to. That they've never been you know, outside of. Yeah, right. and my, my, my friends, when they would come up from Vegas to visit me, they would be, you know, when I graduated high school especially, they'd be surprised that some of my friends in Peekskill had never even been to New York City. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. they're like, yo, 
when you when you're from outside of New York, like Manhattan and Harlem and that, like that's all you see. Right, on right, TV right, right, and right, videos right, and right, 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 right. So how do people? How does people live forty minutes away from here? Never even go there. That's surprising. So it's the same thing with government. Like we can't think that everything we're gonna do is gonna come from within us. We have to actually get ideas from other cities that are actually doing good. Right. You know, in a city we, like in a city again like Newark, which is not in Westchester though, but mm-hmm. that mayor, that young man, that mayor is doing some, some damn good stuff right now. Yeah, right, 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 okay. right. But if you also look we got, at we the got mayor, another winner in the house, we in the are another winner in the house. <laughs> we are doing the this is PP4 politics, um, with the winner's circle. We we haven't <laughs> we haven't visited from some of our candidates, and let me explain this too. Not just candidates who have won. The candidates that did not count a robbery to come on the show when they were running. Because a lot of people warned away from us. A lot of people just didn't feel we were important enough. And some of them went and you're not going to see them today. But for those who came through when they was campaigning, and you know, those those are the ones that we've invited back through today. So we have, uh, that it, man? Counsel- <laughs> we have current councilman, now county legislator elect, elect Christopher Johnson. Yay! Johnson. And see, this is great because, you know, because I live in Mount Vernon, I kind of trip over us 10 stories on my way to the local store on the corner. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, and you try not to be all about Mount Vernon. This, it's times like this I get to show we, we are black Westchester. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I'm going to ask you, um, um, well, um, we were, we were, how does it feel to uh, the county legislator, man? Yeah, you know. It's exciting moving from uh, the Yonker City Council, where um, we have seven members, and leaving a Republican majority. Although this Democratic wave flipped the Yonker City Council to at least four Democrats, mm-hmm. uh, there's still one race where uh, Mauer Fichi is down six votes, <coughs> with a whole bunch of paper to be counted. So hopefully, I'm hoping he can pull that one out. Uh, and Who's that? I'm sorry, who? Matt Orfici in the 6th District. Oh, Orfici, okay. Yeah, that was where uh, there were two Republicans, uh, Tony Pagano and uh, Anthony Morenti, who split. Yeah, well, Tony's so, gone, right? Yeah, Tony, Tony's uh, too far behind for okay. this to be real, but Morenti is up by six votes, and so hopefully Matt Orfici can pull us out. He's a really good guy on the Human Rights Commission, just uh, just oh. deserving. Is what, that's what government should be, just like good people um, that are members of the community that want to do good work. Uh, for the people that that, that are their neighbors. Um, and so now I get to join a uh, super majority uh, on the Board of Legislators. Oh, wow. um, there are 12 Democrats. Uh, four, four of us are new. Um, I'm replacing a Democrat, but the other three new members are all defeated incumbent Republicans. Mm. Uh, and uh, we've got a Democratic County Executive. That was a Republican ad beaten. <laughs> oh, we only have one person to thank for it. <laughs> Number 45 himself. Yeah, you know, he, what he has done is he has really energized uh, the Democratic base. And people who weren't sure before why they should vote or if their vote was important, they came out. I mean, we saw numbers in an off year and odd year election that rivaled the gubernatorial election. Right, that's what they were saying. Yeah, and so when you have those type of numbers in the state of New York, Democrats are going to win. Well, I'm sure there were a lot of Republicans that that, that voted Democrat too, just Absolutely. because they were just disappointed with with the whole situation. I'm mm-hmm. sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. And that just that just added to the wave. That just added to the wave. Yeah. And so. I'm excited to, to get uh, up to White Plains and start doing the business of the people. Uh, make sure that Yonkers is on the map in this county. Uh, make sure that we're talking about infrastructure projects like the Spring Ridge Pool. Make sure that we're talking about our homeless population in this county, mm. uh, specifically in, in, in Yonkers. Uh, make sure that we're talking about affordable housing throughout the county and providing people jobs where they can afford housing uh, in this county. And child care. Make sure that we're talking about child care and that, that people can afford to go to work and make sure that their children are safe yeah. at the same time uh, and make sure that people can travel. Uh, so we're talking about transportation, making sure that people get to and from uh, their place of employment or to their recreational activities uh, down in New York City or wherever it may be. So those are the things that I'm looking forward to really pushing um, and, and getting done. And who knows, we may get them done so quick that it just be like, Oh my goodness! W- w- what else we got to do? What else Aww. is on the plate? Because <laughs> we we've got a team that's ready to work together. I've been the phone has been nonstop. That's awesome. Talking to a lot of members, uh, new members, incumbent members, uh, about just the excitement that that everybody feels 
and and we're having really good conversations so far. So plus, you, plus, 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 you have a county executive that's going to work with you. Well, I, that's exactly. what, yeah. that's what I, wanted yeah. to, I wanted to ask because I, I made a statement and maybe you can correct me. Um, two comments. Um, Oscar Davis Jr. Yes, Mayor Noodle. Um, you know who Oscar is in Mount Vernon? Yes. Okay, he said yes. Mayor Noodle. Mayor Noodle? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, Why is and, everybody and, calling you Noodle? Because that was a nickname. nickname. That was my oh, stage name. Oh, okay. Because um, it's here all and, over and, the place. And Sandy, 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 Sandy yeah. Barnaby yeah. said, um, oh. <laughs> Sandy Barnaby said, um, he's an open mind, he's, he's open minded and will be a success. Thank to you. you. Now, now, um, Chris, what a statement that I made, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, with the, the three seats that were picked up from the Republicans, that would have been enough to over to overturn the veto for Astorino, right? We would have had the Democrats would have had the numbers. Well, now we have twelve, which is enough to override a veto. Right. Um, there would have still been a question uh, as to whether or not uh, legislators uh, Mike Kaplowitz and legislator Virginia Perez would have gone that route. Mm. Um, I don't know, right. and uh, it's a question that I'm sure could be posed to them, right. but we may never know because right. uh, thankfully we're not in that situation. By fourteen points. Rob Astorino lost, which is like massive. That's not something that we're used to seeing, um, and it's something that that George. He got and complacent. Be, you he, know, he got complacent. He didn't go out there. He didn't go out there. Latimer was all over the place. Um, you know, I I I I love him to death. I mean, he's my friend. I love him as a person and everything like that. But I didn't see him. I didn't see his people. I didn't see them doing anything out there. It's tough when you run a, a one issue race. I mean, he only he said taxes, <laughs> and then he coughed, and then he said taxes again. <laughs> right, right, right. Well, you know that that was that was that was that said. You know what? That's when I saw desperation, because it was the one issue. You, you understand what I'm saying? It was like the one issue. You I just thought kept it saying was cockiness. It was just, no, but it was a desperation when you said, "Well, you know, he wants to raise our taxes, but he didn't pay his own." He wants to raise our taxes, but he didn't pay his own. And he said it enough that it became like the jingle, you know what I'm saying, of a, yeah, of a yeah, popular yeah, song yeah. that right, other right. people started regurgitating right. it. You know what I'm saying? But it was like, you know, there was not like, okay, he didn't do this, he didn't do this, he didn't do this, he can't, he won't do this, this, and this. It was tax. It was just this one issue, and they just kept saying it over and over and over. Before you, Tuli, I want to introduce um, Rashad Balaj. He's a, um, a financial uh, expert that um, he comes through. He writes articles, you know, on retirement stocks, explains. You know, stuff yeah. that we would have to pay. Our people would have to pay money to get this kind of knowledge. You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. And we well, normally right. don't get it. So he comes through, like, at least once a month. It's been a couple of months since he's been here, and he writes an article or two for Black West. Justin, I want to introduce you and I know, and, and give you a chance to talk about what's going on, especially with the yeah. Yeah. and everything. Yeah, first off, congratulations to both you guys. Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. Um, yeah, you know, a, um, like I said, I, you know, it's <laughs> just I think that politics is very important, but we have to realize that, other things are other important as well, and I think um, finances, you know, really should be one of our top priorities. So, uh, you know, if you look at the wealth gap, a lot of people don't know the wealth gap today between black and white families is actually wider than it was in 1960, um, where the average black family has an average wealth or, you know, uh, net worth of $1,700, and the average white family has an uh, average net worth of 102 thousand dollars and it's projected that by 19 by 2053 it's going to be zero for, for black families so we got to figure something out we got to do something different because this what we've been doing wow. isn't we're actually going backwards just to give you some perspective in 1983 the average black family had a, a net worth of 6800 so now it's 1700 so we haven't taken a stride forward and that's through democrats and republicans so mm -hmm. The political landscape didn't really matter. And I think one of the ways that we can actually fix that is through education. And um, financial literacy is something that isn't taught in school. But, um, you know, one, one good news that I can tell you is that we, in Greenberg, um, we have a, a financial literacy program that I just, that I, I started with uh, the superintendent, Dr. Chase. And um, that's part of um, Dr., uh, actually, President Obama's uh, What's the name of his program that he that he did? Um, oh, My Brother's Keepers yes. program. Yeah, so we're putting that, and I wanted I wanted to get in touch with um, Mount Vernon too. I think that would be good, and maybe Peak Skill as well. That would be a good. Well, we're program. gonna try to run it countywide now. Okay, and we yeah. actually got that in Peak Skill as well. Okay, and that, okay. That was, and that was the um, the new county exec. That was one of the things he wanted to initiate a countywide mm -hmm. one. I mean, I was we we were instrumental. Um, Andre Wallace and myself 
were instrumental in um, helping New Rochelle put it together. Yeah. You know, we had just went there. Yeah, yeah. And, um, they, you know, they, they start, you know, I, Andre was, and I was just there taking pictures. And you start asking my, my questions and, <laughs> my pictures, and start writing it down and stuff. I was like, oh. So, you know, so we, we, we helped a lot. And the, and the whole thing was in the beginning, Mal Vernon wasn't seeing the vision under Mayor Davis or whatever, for whatever reason, whether it was him or his administration. So we helped New Rochelle. And then New Rochelle, the promise was that New Rochelle was then going to come in once they had set up and, you know, then bring the model and help Mount Vernon. Mm -hmm. And then we were going to reach out to Chris and we were going to try to bring it to Yonkers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. I don't think it went that way, but um, <laughs> that, well, was, we, that was the intention. We've got it in Yonkers that and, and the Jared's doing great stuff in their show. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I have a question for Christopher. I got like five more minutes, y'all. I got to go pick up the wife, but I wanted to make sure I stop by. So. For those that didn't endorse you, do you, do you forgive him? Are you going to work with him? <laughs> yeah, he's going yeah, yeah, to do that. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got no, no, so, he ain't got no choice. <laughs> so not only not only those who didn't endorse, but, um, you know, Carmen uh, ran and we ran. She was in the primary. We've had conversations uh, already. I know she's back to work, so uh, we've agreed that we're going to sit down. She thinks very highly of Yeah, yeah, she's, she's great. Um, Simmer and I haven't had a, a long conversation yet, but we, we're gonna schedule. Make sure <laughs> that gets scheduled. Look, yeah. No, look, look, look. I know. Look, yeah, it's not easy. Man. It's not easy. It's not easy. But I, I fully expect um, that, that that relationship will will repair. Uh, my wife says to to describe our relationship. She was she was at my wedding, so that Aww, means like okay. she was you know she was close enough to to be there and celebrate the the best day of my life. So there's no reason why um, politics. Should it's end that relationship. Should end that relationship. And Nicole and I have have had a, a struggle of a relationship, so that <laughs> that will probably continue. <laughs> but but yeah, but with regards to organizations yeah. that that you know, actually everybody endorsed me except for police organizations. So I just got to get out there and talk to the cops and ask them what the issues right. with black folk. That's it. You <laughs> know, Damon just said you'll be all right. There you go. So I'm all right. We got, you'll, be that's all, it. Quick, you'll be all right. Real quick, I got a couple yeah, yeah. of um, yeah, that's confirmed. Um, quick, um, we got Sue Shepard from Long Island. We got Anthony Old School Mitchell on the check in. Uh -oh. We got Hector Santiago says shout to my boy Rainy, great guy. We got Stephen yeah. Stephen Lewis from Atlantic Star checking us out. We got, Ooh, Na nice. we got Nadine Hunt Robinson on the check in. Plus hey, Max Maxwell who said uh, Astorino just ran a negative campaign. We got Juanita <laughs> Lewis from hey. Community Voices Heard. Um, when are you going to bring yourself on the show? It's been a while. You're due to come back for a while. And um, I'm yeah, glad to see. Overdue. I'm glad. I'm gl and I'm glad to see that you brought aboard. Um, Y'all are working with Laura Case, who does our homelessness stories and, and, and helped her form a little uh, a little identity, you know, homeless identity organization um, through Community Voices Heard. Um, Tasha, um, she's the AG. I was just talking about that. Hector Santiago, son, stop and shake peak skill. That's right. Um, <laughs> San, San, Sandra Bernard, Barnaby said, that's right. That It is the reason why any poverty programs are focusing on generating black wealth. They're coming to you. It's that people need opportunities for good paying jobs. Brother Arthur Muhammad just checked in. Malcolm Clark said, great to see my brother's keeper go countywide. Uh, Max Maxwell said, will Mr. Johnson continue legislative Jenkins support of the five-year clause? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've had that conversation. And I look forward to, you know, pushing that pushing that issue. Okay. Sean Montgomery, who has a show here on Saturdays, uh, DJ Money Making, he's on the check-in. Juanita Lewis says, shout to Christopher Johnson. Andre Rainey from Community Voices Heard. Um, and then she said, I will be back very soon. We're waiting for you. <laughs> Nadine Hunt Robinson said, congratulations on the win, guys. Thank you. Um, Damon Bagate. Did I say the name? B-A-C-O-T-E. I never pronounced the last Bacote. name right. Shout out to him. Um, also, D. Williams, Omi Medina, uh, Peter J. Robinson, my cousin, um, Tanya Ben Norman, uh, Cliff, Clifton Earl Abrams, and Tanya Keisha Thompson. And everybody else that's checking in. Okay, so I know that um, Chris said he has to go. So um, anything we didn't ask you, well, well I don't know if it would apply. I, I asked um, the mayor-elect. I don't know if it would apply the same with a county a, a legislative position. <laughs> well, what you want your first 100 days to look like? I don't know if that applies to you, though. The same you know, way, the same way with a mayor. An, an executive, right, right, right. Uh, um, so we've I've had some conversations with some of my colleagues uh, on the legislature that uh, about legislation that we're going to push right away. 
some of the pieces of legislation I've introduced on the city level, um, I'm going to replicate them right away. Uh, we're talking ban, ban the box countywide. I know we uh, there was a paid sick leave bill that was held up in the county. That's probably going to move. Uh, ban, ban the gun shows. Uh, we're going to move the uh, Immigration Protection Act. Things like that, they're going to move really quickly. Um, and we're going to do them in a way, you know, when you're in the minority sometimes, you come up with an idea, you put it on paper, and you just start pushing it out there. Uh, we're going to make sure that we're mindful that the legislation that we produce, um, it, we talk to all the partners, uh, and that we make sure that it, that it affects people the way we want it to, and that there's no negative uh, blowback from those things. So, you know, we'll reach out to friends and, and those who haven't been as friendly and make sure that we get as much input as possible. Um, and, and those things will happen quick. I haven't counted the hundred days thing. That's a that's an executive thing. So I leave that to my man. <laughs> but uh, but we're gonna we're gonna move quick. <coughs> wait, wait, real quick, Stephen Lewis said, "Hey brothers, I can't see Rashad. I can only see his hand." So we'll, we'll definitely <laughs> rectify that. Oh, in yeah, a yeah, you yeah, can't, yeah, 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 yeah. You can't. So, see so we'll, we're we're gonna rectify that in a minute. You can't um, see him up there. But um, yeah, I, w I would like to see. And we talked about this like Andre, when Andre Wallace was on here. There's a lot of young, young black Dems. Shout out to the spots. Young Dems. I think they had a sweep, a complete sweep. Every young candidate that ra ran in the county, um, no matter municipality, they were they were successful. So right. shout right. out to the I Young Dems. I would Dems. like to see there a, a movement now of the young black Dems working well, countywide. If, if well, I think they will be soon. Um, I know there's, there's talks for um, Black History Month, uh, the week before the Black and Hispanic Caucus. There will be a forum. Um, that's in planning now, and um, God willing, it will be at the Greenberg Community Center. Um, basically, ask the question, where do we go from here, black politics in Westchester County? And um, the groups that are involved, we're sending invites to all black elected officials, and hopefully uh, the keynote person to address it will be Dr. Lenore Filani, um, which is historically the first person to be first black person and the first black female and first female to be on the ballot in all 50 states uh, on the presidential um, election. So she, um, we're reaching out to her to be, and we're also reaching out to um, Dr. Cornell West uh, to, to actually come because I think at, at this moment in time, we have an opportunity in Westchester County um, to have a black political agenda um, that specifically address issues and needs and concerns of the black communities in Westchester County. So I, I think it's I think it's time for that, and it's and it's long overdue. Um, so that will be a point, and, and, and we're you know, and and the and the people that's putting it together will send out invitations to everybody to come, and and move forward for our agenda. And the reason why we're doing it in in front of the, a week before the Black Political Caucus because. Hopefully it'll be a yearly thing that when they have the state one, we could go up to the state with an agenda also on what on what black people oh, need and what black people want in, in, in Westchester County. So it just won't be a fair where you're just up there having a good time. I've been up there before, man. I know how it goes down, man. I know I know how it goes down. Right? But we wanna come back with something and go and go up with the agenda and come back with an understanding that, you know, Westchester you know, black people in Westchester, you know, even though we're, 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 we're out there, but there are people that, that, that need our help. So the ones who have, we, it's, our, it's, it's our opportunity and, 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 and it's our responsibility to help those who have not. And that's what it's all about. So keep me in the loop with that. Of course, uh, Mr. County Legislator. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, two, summer, two summers ago, after um, Alston Sterling and Philandro Castile were murdered, and, and we, we got to watch that on video, unfortunately, um, I called a meeting in Yonkers with black leaders and uh, kind of fell off. And so I was thinking about reigniting it in February. Um, and so we want to do our own Yonkers thing, but I want to make sure that we do it before We make that, sure you're a so part Yonkers of what, what's going on in Greenbrook. Absolutely. Definitely. And I, Absolutely. And I just want to say, I, I once, I not only congratulate y'all, and I, and I say this to all of our, especially black politicians, we have your back, utilize us as your media, right. you know what I'm saying? But if you step out of line, <laughs> we're coming after you harder because we expect That's more right. from y'all. You know, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, and there's no disrespect and there's nothing personal, but we respect, we expect more of y'all. Right. 
know what I'm saying? Because y'all, y'all supposed to know better. Y'all supposed to know. So, you know, um, but again, utilize your local black media, you know, to get your message out. And, you know, we're here. Exactly. Yes. I appreciate oh. it. Right. Chris, can I ask you a question? Well, well, county legislator, sir, <laughs> your honor. Your honor, sir. May I ask you a question? Absolutely. And then this is on behalf of my friend Max. And he, he didn't ask me to ask, but this this five-year health a situation, right. you said you're going to discuss it with the county executive. Absolutely. Are you going to bring it up to him, or are you going to wait until it comes up and then discuss it with him? So um, I know that Lyndon has been uh, one of the leaders on this. Uh-huh. So my first thing is to go to Lyndon and have a discussion with him on where uh, we are in the process and where that discussion is. Um, and I will follow Lyndon's lead in taking that to the county executive. Lyndon, if Legislator Williams says to me, you know, he, he wants for me to take the lead, then I'll, I'll take that to the county exec myself. Uh, this is not something that we need to wait on, but I want to respect the people who have been doing the work. My God, you're awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Like, Says the former councilwoman. You know, you. She know what it looked like. Right, like, 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 like. That's it. And I just want to say, like my mom used to say, it sound good. Let's see what it look like. I hear that. Because it's it, 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 it sound good. It's let's, let's see what it. Let's see what it. But 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 let's see what it look like. You right. Like, you yeah, right. Yeah. You right. Yeah. <laughs> well, stay on my back oh, no and doubt. make sure that we always put people before politics. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, you that. Yeah, he did it right. He did it right. That's why he won. And I said, I hope y'all are, you know, stay more in touch about what's going on. Yeah. Uh, Maxwell Maxwell said Lyndon is the man because he was he was definitely one of the first to yeah, he, he step was one up of the first um, to ju- step up on, on, on the issue. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So, um, are you in a rush? You hanging out? Hang up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, Yo, I'm excited. I, I want to say, man, I'm excited to sit next to the mayor of my home. My home hometown, oh, you know, nice. yeah, Pe- Peach Scale, that six. Se- I used to live six seventy three Harrison Avenue. Right yeah, there you yeah, go. yeah, right, 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 right there. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, used to go across the church. Me and my mother used to just walk across the street to the church, and 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 and, and go to church, man. Um, I, I left there when in third grade. I was just going to Uriah Hill School, and um, I left there in third grade. You know, my father had passed. And my mother got rid of the house, and she bought a condo up, in, and we ended up in Greenberg. But, you know, I'm, I'm related to the Joneses and the Buffaloes and, and all those are my people up there. Mm-hmm. And um, it's good, man. It's, 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 it's good to see Peekskill, you know, advancing to the point that they, that, that they have elected, you know, a, a brother, you yeah. know, to, 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 to head it off, man, to be the CEO of the city, man. I'm, I'm very proud, man. I appreciate it. You know, I'm very yeah, proud of the hometown. Damon, like you said, um, was he the youngest city council person at the time? Um, the uh, up seating the, the current incumbent mayor and becoming the youngest mayor. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's what's just, up. Yeah. That's what's up. Wait, were you when you was a city council person? Were you baby? Because when I was a city council person, I was the youngest one, and they they treated me like a child. You know what? They put me in a in an interesting position as the uh, as my first year because they you know you have those. You got people who are like diehard Democrats. You got like diehard Republicans. Yeah, 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 yeah. So they labeled me the swing vote. Oh, okay. I, I kind of, you know, I kind of went over here when I thought it was right, and I went over there when I thought it was wrong. And um, all the way up until the election, I was just the the cool guy. And then, you know, when the election came, I became this demon DJ rapper gangster killer, <laughs> hot hater, you know. What I'm saying? So, but um, but I, I, my 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 first my first few years as councilman was a a great experience because they put pressure on me that I needed in order okay. to get where I'm trying to get now. It was a learning you know? experience, yeah, wasn't it? Very much so. You know, very much so. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. Former, former councilwoman here. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, Damon, any questions? You got any, any questions? I know you just walked in the door and setting up the... the, the, the yeah, the, the, um, nah, man. You know, I'm just, you know... I'm just happy to be here, brother. I'm yeah, just happy so, to... So I'm just happy to be alive. I'm, you know, right. I, I think... <laughs> I think um, it was a beautiful election. Yes. You know, that people, people came out and... Um, showed their love for the Democrats. But let's not make it, you know, here I go, right, throwing some shit in the game. Mm-hmm. 
Let, let's not let let's not get it twisted. The Democratic Party has a lot of work to do. Yeah. They have a lot of work to do. They they you know, they have a lot of recognizing what young people can do for the party. You know, what what we can do for for actually the party. Some people really need to sit down and allow the young people to step up because it's our future. You know, every city that we live in, as as as, but they want to call us millennials or Generation X, whatever they want to call us, folks under fifty-five, right? <laughs> right, folks yeah, under that's fifty-five. Me. That's right. That's I, that's the way you can say it because if you look at all the leadership, they over fifty-five. You know, they have to allow us to do what we need to do. You know, and and um, embrace some of those people that supported Bernie Sanders. That they they're, they're not aliens. You know, they're, they're people that want change. They're, they're, they're people want, that want a, a progressive agenda, you know, and they people want, you know, change for, for, the common, for, for the common people. I mean, the status quo has to change, you know, even in the Democratic Party. I, I think um, Donna Brazile's book said a lot. If you haven't read it, I suggest people get the book. What did it say? Uh, when she talked about how... The Democratic Party was basically run by the Clinton campaign, the DNC. Yes. Because they raised all the money. You know, that's it shouldn't be in how she really felt Bernie Sanders. At one point, Bernie Sanders would have been the be better candidate. But because of the fact that they were in debt um, to the Clintons, that she had to go with that. You know, and, uh, and, uh, and people, you know, a lot of people, you know, demonized her. You know, why did she have to bring it out now? Rightfully B so. But Donna Brazile... Yo, she has she has no, a high no, God. Well, well, Donna Brazil has a high God. She has to she, she she you know she has to report to. It ain't about the party. It's about your creator. But didn't she support Hillary? Yeah, but yeah, but see, it's one thing of being loyal to the party. You know, you're being loyal to the party, but then when, where's your integrity when when you know that things are going wrong? No matter what party, you know, it it, it no matter what, you know, when you're loyal to something, and you lose your integrity. Because you're loyal to something, because you're you're doing something. After a while, you know, it it, it takes a toll on you. So, Damon, now 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 that Hillary Clinton is basically a non-entity in the Democratic Party, who's in charge? The people should be in charge. Reggie Lafayette, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, the people the people should be the, the, the people should the the, <laughs> the people should be in charge. The people should always be in charge at the end of the day. I mean that's what it's all about. But you know? there's gotta be one specific person that's gotta lead, you know. Yeah, but you lead, but, I mean but leadership should should reflect the will of the people. Absolutely. You know, and, and I give a prime example, right? Our union, Westchester Correction Association, Belmont Association, yeah. right? They supported Astorina with all the hell that that's going on up in that jail. We ain't even got heat now, brother. It's cold as hell, and there's no heat in the in the penitentiary. But 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 you know, the union but, members did not support it. It was the union but, but, that, head. But, but I just gave you the example. You so go, how does the head support something that the body doesn't? Because it was brought. But but that that goes into. <laughs> That goes into political parties also. Let's not get it twisted. Well, I, okay. I just want to say, I just want to say know? something. I, I want to say something real quick. I said, you know, the, the, there was a momentum here, and it, it had a lot to do with Trump. And I want to see. I don't want to see Democrats rest on their laurels now. I want to see how y'all, y'all can galvanize this going into the midterm elections, which you know what I'm saying is, which is a much bigger scale, and right. and see how some stuff can be turned around. I mean, you right. know, there's, but but the thing is that I've been hearing. You know, other than disagreeing that the Trumps did it wrong and Trumps wrong, the Democrats are not putting forward a platform on what's right or how they would do it right. right, right. Okay, but you know what I'm saying? So, it, so. It, it, uh, wait, 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 at wait. the same time, at the, uh, at the same time, we gotta get these Republican, these moderate Republicans. I don't give a shit about no Republicans, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. Listen. Don't hold that. I'm a Republican. And I know that you're the only one I love. For my people. But, yo, I'm not a Trump Republican, but I'm a moderate Republican. And these Republicans got to get off their asses and stop following the money people and start listening but that's not, to what the people are saying. And, and you're absolutely correct. Not, we're going to keep losing.
losing. But it's not even about winning and losing. It's about who control the parties because there's mm-hmm. Democrats that do the same thing also. Absolutely. It, it's, a, it's about the money and not, and, 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 and not and about, the about the people. But, but, but like I was saying earlier, if you go, like, all right, you're a Democrat. I'm a Democrat now, mm-hmm. right? I was an independent. Yeah. But if, if I go to the Westchester Democratic website, there's no agenda, mm-hmm. right? So what, what, what do we actually stand Yo, for? Yo, there's nothing there. Right? It's nothing, <laughs> it's, it's nothing but pictures of Reggie. Love Reggie to death, right? <laughs> Love, nothing but pictures of Reggie grinning and, grinning and skinning with politicians. That's great. That's fine and dandy. I understand that's what you're supposed to do. But when we, when we go to the website, we want to know what Democrats stand for, right? So what platform do you stand for that's related to the, to the, to the overall platform of the county. If the if, if if the county can't say what they stand for, how can you stand? How can you stand on what saying well, I'm a Democrat and this is what I but, the, right. but, but that's exactly what I'm saying about the Republican Party. We got Doug Cokey who I know is not a racist. I'm gonna say it now. He's not a racist. He's a wonderful guy. I know him personally. All right, then, I then. think he's wonderful. But he gravitates towards the Republicans with money who are the conservative Republicans who are racist. Wait, does it? And he's well, then why haven't he denounced? But why haven't he denounced them? Because he's a fucking idiot. Well, then, well, I, didn't that, so I didn't say that, Doug. I didn't say it, Doug. No, but, <laughs> but, but you know what? This loss, this loss right now, I hope will wake him the hell up. It won't. It, no, it won't. Come right, on, but these are the girl, these are also now. the conversations come that get now. get the ideas and the platforms lost because we're so focusing on focused on which party. Right, right. right. So we gotta forget, exactly. like you know, because even during our campaign, it was like after all of the attacks on on me during the campaign, it was like, well, the Republicans are doing this, and it's like, no, I, you know, I tell people. It's not Republicans. It's these people. Exactly. Right. All right. They, I don't care what they're registered as. They, you know, right. Republicans, and, and, I don't and, care. And that's, it's and, these people that's doing and this to me. The money play goes on both sides. Uh-huh. That's right. Democrats that's right. and that's Republicans right. are both right. controlled by money. Money makes the world go round. So some, what you said, we have some, to start on, and some on people, a, And some people got money on both sides. They, 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 they put right. it. Mean, well, 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 no, you got, you got, you got wait, people in the position. And the first debate for the Republicans? He said, I got money with everybody no, in the table right No, but AJ, here. but AJ, oh, but AJ. Oh, yeah. Everybody in here got my money in their pocket. Everybody. <laughs> but, you know what I'm but, saying? But, 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 not somebody that you know asked for. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but hey, that, that, that's a real that's thing, though, because that's, that's what Wall Street does. Right. That's, what, that's what big banks do. They give Hillary Clinton $8 million. They give Donald Trump $9 million. Mm. They right. hedge their bet. Right, right, right. Either way, they still you still owe you in debt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like going to Vegas. You had your bet. You put some money on red. You put some money on black. No matter what, you still win. Yeah, yeah. Right. So that's what I'm saying. We can't always rely on just the political system. Politics has to start from the ground level. Absolutely. Like this, this brother right here started. I remember your story. You you was in the in the community center and yeah, you, you he built right. lines with the community. That's how you have that's to do it. You can't story. you can't expect people that don't know you to care about you. Like they're right. not they're never going to have your best interest because. Why would they? Right. They're going to have who gonna, has their interest. I'm going to switch gears just a little bit real quick because we have another guest in the house and we have not um, spoke on him yet. Okay. Um, uh, author William M. Bunch, Air Force veteran, who has a book called Mercy's First Semester. Is that that's correct? That's correct, brother. Um, it's an honor. Thank you for your service. Um, Thank you. Thank I was, um, hold on, hold on. Hey, I'm trying. To, I, I, can't, yeah. I was trying. I was trying to read a little portion of. Can I? Can I do it? Like, can I do it? So 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 so, so 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 mercy's first semester. Sometimes freedom is found in the forgiveness of our own memories. And Amazon has a little paragraph on it. Raised in a deeply Beautiful. religious family, mercy. Um, which is the main character, right? Mercy. That's right. Mercy. Mercy rebels against. All rules to avoid a designed path of self destruction. Mercy enlists in the army after two combat tours. Mercy returns home, battling PTSD, trying to forget about the lives that he has taken and resume to a normal life. Mercy enrolls in the co- in college and reconnects with a childhood crush. Mercy saves. Oh. Mercy saves some of his men. Can now now can he save himself? And um, welcome for the first time, author W M Bunch. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Now, now, now. Can I, can I, can I, can I, can I do what I do? Like, I mean. You do it well, AJ. You do it very well. So, 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 
you where are you from? from? Westchester, somewhere? somewhere? Uh, I live in Mount Vernon. Okay, you, yeah, no, up, no, 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 no reason. The reason because you caught my joke when I said Reggie Lafayette, you were laughing harder than everybody else. Like you knew who that was, so you wasn't from somewhere else. I knew you knew you knew who that was. I'm aware. Um, so so um, you wrote this book. Um, this book was when was this released? Twenty sixteen. Twenty sixteen. Um, what what took you to the path of writing this book? Is it or is this your first? This is my first book. Okay, first published book. Okay. Um, a couple of things. One, one I want to uh, thank you so much for inviting me to the show. Thank you. Uh, absolutely, you. absolutely. Um, and we try to do the people before the politics, even when we had the politics hey, here. Man, it's, it's all right. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. It's yeah, all yeah, interconnected. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's, I got it. it's, yeah. that's just the way we live. Mm -hmm. uh, two things. I want to. I also I also met one of your one of your partners from uh, Peak Skill, uh, Derek. Right? I don't know if you know Derek. Oh yeah, of course. So anyway, we, Derek and I were together day early today um, at Barnes and Noble over in Scarsdale. Oh yeah. So uh, yeah, so we were just talking talking about yeah, you. So. Um, but anyway, uh, it's a pleasure meeting you. But um, I, I, I was a veteran. I served uh, six years back in the Cold War. And what happened is that uh, I had the option of enrolling in, you know, I scored high in the test. And I had the option of enrolling in any branch I wanted to. But I wanted to make sure that uh, me coming from a military background, my father was, in the, was drafted in Vietnam. My great granduncle was back in the Civil War. Okay. So I kind of know uh, wow. with different people and their, their exposure to the military and then also to them coming back from PTSD, ha having PTSD and looking at the after effects, that's always intriguing. So um, there was brothers I used to see, like uh, when I first got out of service, there was a brother in the, I see when I lived in Harlem, he would always carry a boom box around. He would always, always listen to 70s music. And he was always high, he lived with his mom. And it really bothered me because my thing was like, why is this brother strung out like this? You know what I'm saying? So, but we talked a minute, and you know, he used to tell me his stories, but he didn't tell me everything. So I started seeing more brothers out here, and I said, you know what? There has to be something about, uh, someone has to write something to more that's to focus on what these brothers folk, uh, experience while they're there, and then when they come back, how do they come back into society and resume a normal life? So that's what, that's what it was about. So, it, it, um, you know, it's interesting because we always said that. It's like, you go through boot camp, right? right. And boot camp basically teaches you a certain way of doing things, a certain way of doing things. But after you graduate boot camp, before actually going into war, you have to go into another whole training thing. That's right. And they literally have to train you mm -hmm. to be a killer. That's right. They really have to train you, yes, right. to be able to pull you, 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 you're you not, the average natural, person, right? you can't just throw them in the jungle and give them a gun and they're going to take out the enemy. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, like, really? You know what I'm saying? So, 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 but, you do no, that from the street. No, 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 no. Well, that, that helps. That <laughs> yeah, that helps. helps. <laughs> but, 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 um, but what I'm saying, though, so they have to go through another because I, I saw I saw brothers get off the bus, you know they were coming. I was like, oh, so y'all y'all about to go over? He said, no, we have a good, good boot camp, but we got like a nine month training now that's right. before we actually see action. Right, and um, right. so in that time, they teach you how to be a killer, how to do all these things, all that do, and it, they spend extensive money and time into training you to be that. That's right. They throw you over there, you do all of those things, and then they send you home. That's right. They spend no money to teach you how to be normal again. Right. You understand what I'm saying? It's yeah. like yeah. Wow. It's, it, it, it's it's so true, and um, you know, it's everybody has a different skill. We all can shoot. We all can do different things. But what happens is that once you finish boot camp, you take your specialized <laughs> courses. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bless you. Yeah, bless you. you get specialized. Right, right. So you have some guys who are already. I know a brother. Um, you know, I worked. My background is in the intel field. Okay. Um, I know a brother that was uh was in the intel field, but he was already qualified marksman in boot camp, even though that wasn't his choice. Right, right, right. So all of us have a different skill set we right. bring to the table. Right, right. So it depends on what you do and what, you know, what also really it's all about how you score on that test, that ASVAB, that uh, uh, basically SAT for the military. Right, right, right. And that determines your route, and it also determines luck. You know, it can be a, a variety of things. And then, um, yes. So once you get out of boot camp, you go to your tech school or your training school, A school, you learn your skill, and then there, from there, you go do your thing. Okay, okay, okay. So now, uh, so uh, I guess we have to buy the book to find out can Mercy save himself, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I think I think you do. Um, I, I can tell you a little bit about it. Um, uh, so first semester is the first semester back home. First semester in college. Oh, first, oh, now he's his first semester in college. Okay, right. That's that's the topic. Uh, <coughs> I chose that topic because, uh, you know, when you get out of school, so a lot of us go to school, go into the military to learn something, learn a skill. For me, I wanted to learn a skill, come back out. I had no intention of doing 20 years. 
I know a lot of brothers and sisters that did, but for me, this is not what I wanted to do. I just want, my father was drafted during Vietnam, I had uncles, and I saw some of these guys come back, and I was just like, you know what? I just want to do just enough for me to get in, get a skill, get some education, and move on with my life. That way, I served my country, and it was cool. So I learned leadership skills, and um, it was cool. So, um, so uh, in, in this particular case, Mercy, once he come back, came back from combat, he decided to try to um, try to go back, try to get back to normal. Because you know, once you kill somebody, or uh, even if it's your job, you just don't go back to normal just like that. Right. And like you said, what happened is that there's not a lot, not enough money put into retraining brothers and sisters to be <coughs> reacclimated from the battlefield back to normal community. Okay. So that's that was uh, something that intrigued me, and I said, let me, you know, and I talked to some some other some people, ex girlfriends, some um, some friends, high school mm -hmm. classmates, and I listened to their journey, and I figured, you know what, somebody's got to talk about it. Somebody else has to talk about it from a brother's perspective too, because when you always see the movies, you don't see the Latinos and African Americans and Asians in war. It's always the white guy saving the world, or coming back, or struggling, <laughs> or you know, you know what I'm saying, or or he's the first guy to take the bullet. You know, or they got this movie out. What do you call it? Thanks for your service. It just came out this weekend. It doesn't reflect the reality I knew growing up in Bushwick in Brooklyn or the reality, you know, the brothers in Mount Vernon and the other place. So that's why I wanted to kind of put things together uh, from that perspective. Okay, okay. Um, any, any questions, Brenda? Brenda? Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in knowing because this is not, well, how you came up with the cover. Yes. And this is a different from the other print, the yes, cover. Yes. So tell us about the cover. Um, you know, it's funny. Like you, you, you see marketing. <laughs> you, you, you see, <laughs> you, you see albums. Sometimes they, when people you try right, album right, cover, right, right, right. it works for the first one. Right, right, right. And it's moving. <laughs> or either it's even there's no sales and you and you're tanking. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> right. So I like this cover, and I wanted to put. Uh, it was a good cover. It was a good concept, but. I didn't feel confident enough with it to, uh, 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 just uh, actually, just the best way to put it. It's about two million books out there on, on the internet. When you go through a thumbnail photo, you want to look at when you you zipping through books to buy. You want to make sure that Im that cover image pops. Right. And it's like, hey, this I want to take this out. Right, right, right. So I thought this was good. <coughs> and I did like it. Right. But after I talked to a couple of the designers and I got some more insight. I'm new to the publishing business. I said, let me go ask somebody who's doing this all the time, and let me get their expertise. And they was like, well, you know, what you want is something's going to pop. This is what's happening. So that's why I changed the cover. So I still like that. And actually, people who have bought it, because it only had a, like a so many, a limited edition of people who bought that book, a lot of them like that, this cover better. Mm -hmm. But once I made the transition, uh, I, I changed the cover, the sales took off. What year did, 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 did you print this book? <coughs> uh, October twenty uh, October last year, 2016. 2016? Yeah. So now are you in all the bookstores, uh, online or? Uh, Am Am Amazon, uh, Barnes & Noble, Kobo, uh, iTunes. Uh, okay. You can pick it up any of those stores. Okay, okay. The hard copy, I mean, you, you can buy it online or you can actually go in the stores and go get it too? You can... Uh, you can go into uh, Barnes and Noble. I was just, today. I was at the Barnes and Noble in uh, Scarsdale or East nice. Chester. Uh, I was there and I was there about a month ago. Uh, and you can go to the one. I've been in the Barnes and Nobles and uh, in Yonkers on on uh, Central Park Avenue. Oh, my, my hometown. Yeah, 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 that's a nice bookstore. Yeah. Um, or or you can be buy the ebook online. Okay, so when is your next uh, uh, book signing so nice. that we can show up? I'm still I'm still uh, in the planning stages right now. All right, so let us know so that we can make sure <coughs> that we let people folks know and that you know I'm uh, I'll definitely be there and I know that there'll be a lot of other people be there. Thank you. What, what, you what's, your, what, what's your take on um, what, you know the the whole political scene with the football players taking a knee, a knee and everybody trying to frame uh, it as a good question? Right. Well, well, that's good it's a good question. <laughs> you know what? For me. We serve this country to be to defend the Constitution, plain and simple. Mm -hmm. And that means they deserve the right to say what they feel like saying. Mm -hmm. and, and plus, that's the best <coughs> format to say it. I belong to a couple of groups on Facebook, uh, different veterans groups, and it's interesting to hear the brothers' perspectives and then the issues to hear the white people. Bingo, yes. Now, but I will tell you this, there are a good many of white guys that I, I know that I serve with and uh, people I don't know mm -hmm. that are like, wait a minute, this is what we serve for. 
exactly. So they can say what they want to say, you know. So it, 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 a lot of it comes down to race, man. Yeah. And I, I think that's what the bottom line. Like I, I, I give you some background. I worked in the intel field. First of all, it's one percent of one percent to be in the intel field. Now out of that one percent of that one percent, it's probably like, and this it's a it's a very small uh, percentage of people of color. Intel like spy. Spy basically. Like James Bond. Well, it, there are various sources, but we don't. I mean, I worked in. A, I was a Morse code operator, and I also worked with satellite imagery. Uh, you ever seen the movie on um, Red Tumper Red October? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But there's a scene in there with James Earl Jones and um, uh, Harrison Ford where they had a light table and they're looking at this imagery through these scopes. That was one of my jobs. The other job, I was a Morse code operator. So basically, we might be in a room. Instead of you guys talking to each other verbally, you sit in the Morse, co Morse code or you sit in a high speed printer system. I'm basically listening to what you're saying and I'm copying it down. So mm. that's what we did. Mm. So, um, but saying that, the field was mostly, our, our field, uh, and I was in the, in the Air Force, it was mostly white people. That's how the branches are white. The Air Force and the Navy, uh, probably, I don't know the, the demographics, but when I was serving, it was mostly whites. It's changed now because the population. More Air Force than Navy. Like, there's, there's, I was there's in the Air Force. I said, yeah, more, there's a little more blacks in the, in the Navy than the, I guess in the Air Force. Yeah. All yeah. right, yeah. can I ask you a question? Yes. What, what, okay, it probably has absolutely nothing to do with your book. Uh-huh. But. Shoot. Recently, we had a, a devastating mass uh -huh. um, uh, murder. In Charleston, and the president said that it was due to mental health. Which oh, that's that's the one that happened in, in Texas. Texas. In Texas. Yes. Mm -hmm. What is your opinion on that? You know, it's funny. I I, I don't agree with Trump in anything he said. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm Thank you, right Amen. <laughs> I typically don't, but this time, looking at the history, he was right. Okay. Apparently, this guy had. Had uh, got court martial mm -hmm. uh, for beating up his wife several he, times, several, uh, 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 a stepchild, and he had a, a toddler for kind yeah, of yeah, uh, man. And, and it appears to be uh, it was a mental health issue. But it, my thing initially, I disagree with Trump because immediately right away he said it was a mental health issue, uh -huh. and that was like the first day. And I said, wait a minute, how do you get access to this information just that quick? I know you do have access, but what yeah. happened is that <coughs> with him. He tends to walk the line and sway the direction whatever's going to be popular or he thinks going to be popular. Well, I mean, well, but well, if, well, if, if it's a white person, it's mental health. If the black person, it's well, well, let's let's let's. Well, let's but we ha we also have to be clear on something too. Yes. Yeah. Um, even if it, it makes it worse because it was a mental health issue. It's, yes, you're because right. because he shouldn't have been able to obtain firearms. I yeah. totally agree. See, we what we're doing is is and what Trump is doing and what the media is doing. They they're taking mm -hmm. our intention of common sense, mm -hmm. fire um, gun control. That's right. So so if if he had mental health issues, he I think he beat up his wife, right? right. That's so right. so he had domestic violence issues, it was right. Red flags. right? Right. So these should have been red flags. For for him not to purchase yeah. a firearm, That's true. Okay. right? And 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 now they just want to say, well, he has mental health issues, right? 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 It's it, it's it's okay. Mm -hmm. He has mental. It's okay, mm -hmm. you know. But when the um the little eight, the, the 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 Arab guy, right, gets a gets a van. That's right. Right. Uh huh. And. You're only going to have mental health issues if you buy a van and want to knock people over with the van, <laughs> right? Right? You, 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 you can't be sane. You can't be sane, right? right. And, and not only that, you get toy guns. You don't even get real guns. You get toy guns, <laughs> right. Right? right? You have that. Something has to be wrong with you. But he's a terrorist, yeah, right? They, they, they didn't call the white man who shot 200 and some odd people out of the window of Las Vegas right. a terrorist. We know that. Oh. Right? So so what so we 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 continue to fall into this false narrative. You know, we're gonna continue to have killings. That's right? right? Not only that, the white man in Vegas, how the hell you buy all them guns and don't set off a red flag? How do you buy all that ammunition mm -hmm. and don't set off a red flag? Let that so, been a let that but, been me wanting to go around <laughs> buy 
nine hundred rounds right, of right. ammunition, right? Right. And and thirty three different types of weapons. Right. The feds have been knocking on my door. And everybody who knows after you. the third gun. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. I, after the third gun, they've been knocking on my Sandy, door. Sandy said, "Don't individualize these killing patterns by white men with a mental health issue. If one of one hundred is sick." Mentally ill. The rest of these killings is whiteness, culture. Absolutely. Uh, whiteness. Ooh. Whiteness hits back when it feels dissed. That's a national mental health issue. Beautiful. And she said, Damon, pattern and practice of white male killing is not a mental issue. Is a if it's white men feel feeling justified to kill because they have been dissed of their dreams and challenges. And welcome, Absolutely. Welcome, yes. Derek L. Uh, White, um, to the to the to the conversation. And I wanted to ask you now, as as may I don't know, um, as far as vet, you know, Veterans Day just came past. Yeah. So we're not to give some love to all the veterans out there. What 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 are y'all doing? Um, how are y'all with the veterans in Peekskill? I know I know this the veteran the practices of the veterans in Westchester period can be better in, in all the municipalities right. and, and on the county too. level. I mean, they have and, they have, they have programs that they offer veterans for you know housing and shelter and food, you know, but I mean, all of that stuff needs to be improved, you know. Um, we have a great, you know, organization um, um, that's out of Peace now that's working with the veterans, you know, and they also have the Jam Peak House, which is the homeless shelter that, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to, I mean, we did a, a fundraiser just last year and raised almost like $14,000 nice. to get specifically two veterans in need, mm -hmm. you know, nice. those that aren't, you know, getting help at places like the VA or, you know, there's no room for them, whatever the case is, so. It's a matter now of finding housing for those who need it and making sure the development that comes in will yeah. provide housing like that for those types of uh, situations, you know. Okay, I can I ask a question? Yeah. Okay, I have a brother who I particularly re don't really give a fuck about. I'm going to be honest <laughs> about. He's my oldest brother. And, and he's my oldest brother, and I, re I really don't give a shit about him. But he overdosed on opiates in peace skill. What are you going to do regarding the opiate problem in peace skill? That's something that we have to tackle. Um, that wasn't one of the things that, um, you know, had hit us hard in the last few years, you know. So that, that's but something but, that but have you have the turning today. point, you have several different I mean, um, there are there are programs that are offered. Yeah, you that, have that, that, that uh, many do. many programs yeah. in Peace Skill that are in for, tune with the OPA yeah, of program. Course, of course, yeah, of course. You know, so I mean, we we continue to use those programs, utilize those programs, you know, within the city. But I think um, that's something that we need to work on. I want to say in that countywide too, it's because you know it's they, they send they send certain people that get help in certain places. Yes, you know, Peace Skill isn't one of the home bases. Mm -hmm. That they send people for that type of uh, assistance right now. Uh -huh. So is it is or isn't? Isn't. Mm -hmm. It's not. Yeah. So when people actually, or if, if somebody is in peace, go looking for help, we, we you know we take them to places that we help them get help in places that they can get help. One you know? of them is like the turning point. What was that? The turning point. Right. 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 Yeah. 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 So similar to that. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what are you gonna do? <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, all we, the, the most we can do is implement a program that already exists in two peak scale. I mean, if I the don't population give a grows, I, I really you know? don't give a flying fuck about my brother, but, but I care about other people. Yeah, but you should give a little bit of a I about know, your brother. I really don't. I really don't care about it. So, I got eleven brothers, uh, brothers and sisters, so. I care about ten of them. This yeah. one, I, re I really don't particularly Well, implementing care about. a program like that in Peace Girl would be something that we can initiate. The thoughts by okay, our, the, the thoughts by our co-hosts are not necessarily the thoughts by the rest of the cast. No, I'm just playing. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, no. I'm sorry. So, so, um, I'm so glad that she don't give a flying. I'm really glad you're the mayor. Um, is there another book in the work? I know once you strike the iron, you keep it going. Is a a yeah. continuation of this? Is, does Mercy have another? Coming up, uh, you know, in other, is it going to be a series? Um, I, I'm not sure. I might reveal another portion of his life, but I got a couple other books that I'm working on right mm. now. So um, I'm looking, looking at all the genres, whether science fiction or young adult, but I want to give uh, a voice to other black writers that we're not locked down to. And I like all type of literature. I read some of everything, from Iceberg mm. Slim to, right. to um, Stephen King to everybody. But 
you know, one of the difficult things I found when I wrote when I wrote this book is that when you when you go approach the the publishers, you're locked in. So this is going to be ghetto lit. And I'm like, well, listen. First of all, I hear what you're saying, brother. But and I grew up in the hood, and that's cool and everything. But that's not the only book I read, and that's not the only book we write. So James Baldwin was, was an eloquent brother. So you got to kind of give us a little bit more of a platform that's locking us in. So as soon as the brother walk in the door, mm -hmm. that you think that it's going to be all about the hood. Right. Well, right. I mean, it's a bold so I was. So, <laughs> so you think so, we? So any so chance to see Mercy become like this? Uh, Social actors, activists, and you know, just galvanizing the people, and you know, taking the war to the streets, and I, that's a good, you know, it's funny, that's, that's a good avenue. I, you know, and uh, I kind of leaned a little, uh, a little bit toward that direction in the book, but um, that's something I have to consider. Especially with the climate we're in now, and you know, yeah, we're in a very. Yeah, so public enemy fight the power in the background while he's while he's walking well, the streets. He, 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 <laughs> you know, definitely Black Lives Matter definitely is involved, um, and we touched upon that in the book because, you know, the bottom line is that this is not a our young people, our young people, especially our young black people, we're in trouble. I got two young kids, two teenagers, and I have to think about the future. How old are they? Uh, my daughter's eighteen, and my son is fifteen. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I gotta, uh, we we gotta think about wh what are we leaving behind for them? Absolutely. And yeah. that, and it, and a lot of our decisions sometimes, it, w you know, we may choose a side, you Republican, Democrat, but I think in the end of the day, we gotta figure out what am I gonna do that's morally right and ethically right, so that that way we create an a, a environment that's going to be prosperous. Because right now, it's a lot of toxicity from the president on down to the local offices. Yes. And it's nice to see a young brother here that's coming on the scene that can connect with the young people and just try it. Because a lot of Beautiful. these cats, what they do, you know, even in the church environment, right. they right. Own, they're they so worried about preserving their jobs and their positions right. that they are not <laughs> trying to they mentor started. their young brothers and sisters. <laughs> right. Don't get me right. started. You, right. get, right. you know what I'm You're saying? Right. And, yes, I get, and another absolutely. example, look at it. I'll give an example. We see all these tragedies, looking at Michigan, where they still don't have water. We got all these churches in Mount Vernon. Why can't all the churches in Mount Vernon pull oh, together up, at one up, time? up. Can I get an amen? Amen. As opposed to separate, as opposed to separate, as opposed to separate, as opposed to separate initiatives, why can't we band together? So all of you guys, let's do this as one. Yeah. So, so what I'm saying is that sometimes it's not so, it's not so black or white. It's a lot of grades that we got to kind of focus on to kind of make it colorful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But you need people like you to organize that. Well, I'm trying on my level, and I do reach out, but I do. Re there are some friction from the from the older heads. When yeah. you get to 50, 55 and up, I find that there's there's resistance, yeah, and I'll the, the young people, I, I got young kids, so I got to think about them. Yeah. So that means I got to reach with the people that's younger, and but the older guys and women, well, mostly men, because it's very few women are there that have power. Um, they're the ones that's kind whoa, of reluctant. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you say? Well, I'm talking about who's in power and who's controlling. He spoke a truth. I mean. Who's controlling? <laughs> truth. Who's Brenda controlling? Trump no, no, believe, is believe me. One Let me tell you something. Powerful she's, woman. She's, you know, it's funny. You see people that's behind the scenes. It's a lot of people behind the scenes that you don't see. Absolutely. Yeah, but they're you. getting stuff I, done. I Absolutely. I understand. I'm I understand. definitely sitting next to some one of those people. And personally, for me, <laughs> I kind of like working behind the scenes. I don't need to be in front. Yeah, and I just want to say, and I say this, thing. I'm gonna embarrass her. I like to do this as often as possible. So, like, you know. She ran for school board, right? She did there her thing. Go. She did yes, wait, wait, wait. Yes. She wait, 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 wait. Yes. She, and she did her thing as school board. Yes. But then when she lost the election, she is more active in connecting and the people and educating, educating the people Most about definitely. what's going on in the school board, Most the definitely. votes coming down to the stuff, to push pushing the other things when the meetings are. That's She's right. more active now than when she was on the school Yo, board. This and, is and I want somebody. One and we powerful went, woman. Okay. Somebody well, you need to be afraid of. I want, I want, listen, listen, listen. And <laughs> I, I like, I like people who serve <laughs> without titles. You know, you, you understand what I'm saying? Like, I, those I'm are the people that I want in office. I'm the people that are serve without titles are the people that, so those are the people I want for office. So, 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 so we just can put out here, Brenda Crump, City Council, uh, uh, 2017, 2019. Uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> no, no. You know, I, I think you said, something, you said something very key. Sometimes it's not about the title, it's what you're getting done. Thank you. Right, 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 right. And a lot of us, we get caught up in these titles, and I say mm -hmm. that in a public position, and I say that from a a church op officer position. Okay. Sometimes we get caught up in these titles, and then we get a title and we do nothing. Mm. Then you see nothing. You see no, the kids are still mm -hmm. suffering. 
There's still no water in Flint, Michigan. You know what I'm saying? Right. <laughs> so it's like wow. we got a lot. You know, of you know, a lot of people don't know that because that the, the t- it's not a sexy topic no more. It's no, no longer in the news. No, no. A lot of you know people know that. A but lot of people know that. It's no longer but in the news. But they're not doing a damn thing about it. It's, That's all, the it's problem. all news. But also, too, you look how many disasters that happened since right. then. Right, so right, right, right. So right, they right. kind of suppressed that information. So many distractions. Right, right, right. You, you know. don't know what to focus on. Yeah, yeah and that's the hard part. Shooting in Vegas and shooting in New York and Texas and this yeah. and that and Trump throwing paper towels. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a whole, whole other ball of wax, man. Okay, okay, okay. Well, um, um, is there a website? Um, people, you have a particular website? Where sure, you can go to uh, my website, wmbunch, W-M-B-U-N-C-H-E dot com. That's my website for the author's book. Mm-hmm. And then you, you can go to Amazon or, or Barnes & Noble, um, and you can pick up the paperback or the ebook on those two, two sites. Oh, the ebook, okay. Okay, yeah. so I'm really interested in your book, okay. and I really want to order it. Cool. Amazon? You go to Amazon, yeah. I'm going to right. Amazon. Took, look up Mercy's first semester. Um, All right. And uh, check it out. Because you know, some of us are illiterate. Just illiterate go on the link. Just, yeah, just, just about, go on People you know. Before Politics link. Um, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Check it out. I'm, I'm on Thank my you, job. Brenda. Because uh, Brenda rocks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love you know, Brenda. I, I really appreciate Ms. Ms. Hook get, hooking me up because um, it, it, it's nice to find somebody Yo, else getting started. Wait, wait, hold on. Nobody's more important. Then Brenda L. Crump. Hey, no, 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 no. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you. She no, no. is the bomb. No, but you know, but you, but you're right, and you know, it's always nice. Well, I think one of the most key things people underestimate women. They get stuff done. There you go. They, even though we That's may, what I'm talking men about. may have the financial power and be in control. Shut up. But there's always a woman behind the scenes. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. And a lot of them, they they are the movers and shakers. So um, mm-hmm. you can't underestimate people. And um, I, I think that's one of the disadvantages uh, of the society. So that's why we got to, sometimes we got to look in those gray areas because everything is not black and white. There's right, a lot right, of gray right. areas that stuff is happening, you know. So, um, you know, we'll see. So we need more people like Ms. Crump out here doing Thank things, you. taking care of business. Hey, I agree. Hey, 100% I agree. Yeah. I sent it's you something to post for the last. Today on. When we close out, I want to just say something. I just sent you okay, something. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, no. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 okay. go ahead. I'm so, um, Brother Rashad, you've been quiet over there. Um, anything to contribute to the conversation? Um, financial tips. We need some financial yeah, we, tips. Financial tips, you said? Yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah. we, we, we all right, so we got, we, Save got, money. We, got, we got a young brother in office. You know what I'm saying? We got, we got a brother here putting out some good books. You know what I'm saying? Now I need some money so I can make his book <laughs> and help him stay in office. You know what I'm saying? Hey, hey. And, and hey, everybody hey. has some independent black publishers. Hey, you know? Right, 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 right. Hey, right. hey, hey so, Rashad, December 3rd, um, um, Jack, 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 Jack of Spade. What is it? Jack Toon, right? Yeah. He's come, he's coming on the show to talk about Bitcoin. Okay, nice. You know what's 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 uh, you, you, I mean, is it? What, what do you say about Bitcoin, man? Um, well, Bitcoin. I, I was, everybody asked me that's like the hottest thing <laughs> in the world right now. I got Litecoin. Yeah, I started investing in Light. Bitcoin too high right now. Yeah, Bitcoin. I'm, I'm messing I with mean, Litecoin. I mean, it's a couple sixty dollars, <laughs> man. <laughs> Ether, but, but I'm in it. Ether, <laughs> <laughs> Ether actually outperformed Bitcoin, which is another yeah, yeah, um, yeah. cryptocurrency. But mm-hmm. all of those are, you know, that that they they've been on a rampage so far. So it's just a matter of how far they can go up. But you know, they definitely have some some downsides to it mm-hmm. as far as on the political side. But um, you know, we just have to <laughs> we have to see how it how it plays out. But I'm for it. I'm for the technology. I'm just not right. sure. As far as how long it's going to continue to keep going up. Yeah, yeah. But, I, but 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 I will say this though, just to actually to have a conversation like that is important for us as a community because, once again, politics is great, but politics will not save us. Even if you look at a country like South Africa, uh, South Africa is eighty percent black, and pre-apartheid black people couldn't vote. So now post-apartheid black people are in control of the government; they can vote. They can go to school. They can buy houses. They can do all mm-hmm. of that stuff. Ninety percent of the wealth in South Africa today is controlled by white people. That's wow. right. So, what does that really matter to have a black president if the diamond mines? That's right. And all That's of right. that, nothing really changed in it. It's just that now you can vote. Now you can become president. Now you can become a judge. But ninety percent of the wealth is still owned by nine percent of the people. That's right. Eighty yeah. percent of the people. Own five percent of the wealth. Like this country. That's right. I was just, I was just we, say had, no, we had a black president. And, <laughs> and, and, and that's what I was saying as far as even with the wealth gap. Damon, you wasn't here, but 
the wealth gap today is worse than it was in 1960. That's right. So we a lot of times we focus on the wrong things. If you have money in this country and in this world, you can do a lot. If not, you're going to be constantly talked down to and be the doorman, and, you know what I'm saying, and talk to as far as how people want to talk to you because you're not in control of your destiny. So that's what you said as far that's as right. making our own companies and we have to support yeah. each other. We have to trust and, each and, other. And, and, and when you talk about politics, money, you can't, you can't have politics without Exactly. Money. You yeah. Exactly. You, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, just, it's, like I say, it's like I say all the time, even the term minority, what does that really mean? Because if we make up 12% of the population, how are we a minority when Jewish people make up 4% of the population? How come they're not a minority? Because they have money. That's why. So a minority... And they learned how to pool their money together. Exactly. We're marginalized because we don't have the resources. But, but that's, why, that's why this conference is, is so important, you know, for us, for us to move forward as a people um, to, 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 to actually address address these issues they're going to be you know they're going to be a lot of issues on the table that needs to be addressed and um some type of um you know agenda you know for westchester county and for representatives to go to albany you know uh, and lobby and and go to the black and latino um weekend and 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 push for you know push for these issues i think right now you know with Lattimore, you know and you know, when Spano was in, you know, social media wasn't wasn't really popping, right? But 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 now under Lattimore, and I'm not sure did did, did Chris say that that they that they took that the did, did the Democrats take back the legislature or they're just or they're close? I'm not I'm I'm still not he sure. They have 12 seats. He said they're close. Right. And, um, they're close. They couldn't tell you. Yeah. Right. And they have still right. One or two still undecided though. But okay. Like, well, well, you know, with 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 having having the numbers that we have. And, and having a county exec elect that you know is 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 is, is basically fair in what in what we know you know he was a good but when I started the job um, in 1990 he was county legislator he was a good legislator he was a good chairman of the board you know so you know I never had any problem I ne never had any problem with him and all his years of being um, elected official you know everybody I talked to had love for him so. You know, as a county exec, I, I believe he's going to continue, you know, to to do what he was doing as as a county legislator and and, and a state senator. So, you know, but it's up to us, you know, it is, it, 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 you know, it's up to us. Like the famous meeting, you know, with, with Martin Luther King and, and um, uh, with President Johnson, he agreed with everything Martin Luther King said. But he also said, you got to make me do it. You yeah, know, I'm right. just not going to do it. Yeah. There's powers in my seat. And, that, 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 and, and, and that's, the, that's the beauty of you guys, um, Black Westchester. That's why it's important to support you guys because you are the voice of Black Westchester. Right. So you can hold the elective. It's not like, okay, I come, I got elected, see you in four years. Now, every month you have to answer or you're gonna be, your, your feet's going to be put to the fire. Because I always say, to me, poverty is the, is the root of evil. Like, people, they say money is the root of They tell you that to be comfort in poverty. Because if you think about it, money could be corrupted, but anything could be corrupted. But in poverty, that's when people resort to the lowest levels that's right. of decency. They, they kill, they rape. All, everything is higher when people can't eat, when they don't have jobs, when they're starving. Right. So it's important to empower ourselves, first and foremost. And also, it's important to hold our elected officials uh, accountable because economic development, to me, is key. That will raise your self-esteem. That'll be able you'll be able to provide for your family. Crime rates will go down, but we're not gonna South Side Chicago. The crime rate's not gonna go down if it's fifty percent unemployment for, that's for these right. kids. That's like, right. Like what, what else they gonna do? Right. They got nothing and else that, to do. And that, and that's key because you know we get caught in the narrative talking about it's a it's, it's a it's a crime problem. No, no, it's a social problem. It is. It is. See, we gotta address social issues. Yeah. You can't arrest your way. From this shit that they putting in the black community, you can't arrest. You can arrest people, but you're gonna take them. They're gonna do a year or two, and you're gonna put them right back in the same situation, and they're gonna end up. And they're gonna end up doing crime again. Actually, we, they come we, back we, worse. Yeah, right? come back worse. Well, well, yo, you're some right, some no, so yeah, right. They come back they worse. Come back worse. So we have to we have to come up with social programs and, and and a social agenda to address these social issues. They always and and, and that's unfortunate. That they use the police to try to solve their social failures, yeah. and, and 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 that's what they have used used law enforcement, especially in the black community, 
to solve their social failures and, and to solve their failure of, of passing responsible Please. legislation, that political legislation that will change. So, you know, I mean, we, we have to, we got a lot of work to do. And I think, you know, we, we got young people like my brother here and, and, and Chris Johnson and, and different people in different areas that we can network with, everybody can network with each other and, and, and we can support each other to make our communities, to make our communities better, man. I mean, because, because, because that's what it's all about. You know, and, and look, it's what they call it, like the, 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 the 80 20 rule, right? Used to be it'd be the eighty twenty rule, right? They take twenty percent and they give eighty percent to the people. Now they take eighty percent and twenty percent go to the people. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, you in Mount Vernon, you getting they taking a hundred percent and the people don't get nothing. You know, it's unfortunate, but it is what it is. You know, but but we we have to we have to get back to you know giving to the people first. You know, and, and that's what it's all about. If you feed the people, and I tell politicians all the time, right? If the people eat. You stay in office forever. forever yeah. You stay in office forever. The people is eating and they working and, 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 and the city is busy and safe, meaning having businesses and it's a safe city and it's spiritual. You could be in office forever. But but you have but you have to want to do it. Some people get in power, they start getting that money. You know, if you see a rich politician, you see a crook. That's the way it is. Because we all get everybody getting the business, getting the politician business poor. Right? Average cats. They just have you get a job. They're trying to get a pension, trying to stay in 20 years so they get that pension. I know how the game is run, but all of a sudden they're owning houses, they're owning business, they're they doing this, they're doing that. You know, too. Richard Thomas, he ain't never had a real job, but he just bought a fucking house. What is going on? You know what I'm saying? So, so see, and that's how you got to look. You got to look at things like that. You know, you, and you got to examine things like that. Are they really for the people or, 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 or are they really themselves? You know? He was saying to me, yo, Jones, you support Lattimore, you're going to be commissioner, you're going to be that. Absolutely not. I'm going to go to work like I've been doing, going to midnight shift, I'm going to get my chair, I'm going to sit in the OM, and I'm going to do my job. I don't want no commissioner position because I'm not working for nobody at the will of nobody. Absolutely not. I'm not giving up a union-protected job to work at the will of nobody. <laughs> Absolutely not. Unboard, but, unbossed. But what they good, right. <laughs> but what they can do is do the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Do the right thing. I'm going to get mine regardless. I'm in the pension system. You know, do the right thing. I want to give, hold on, we got, we coming to the right. close of the show. I want to give everybody last chances. Um, like I said, anything you want people to know, um, you know, we didn't ask you. Um, you had a um, comment to go with your, hold on, one of your, one of your, uh, one of your slate mates. What was that? Um, Ramon. Yep. Ramon. He left, Ramon. Ramon. he left a comment early. I wasn't able to get to it. Shout out to uh, Ray Copeland, Tyrone, T Money, Kelsey, uh, Suzanne Cook. Um, so I can find it. Oh, yeah. Proud to be part of the Mayor, uh, Mayor Rainey's team. AJ, my apologies for not being able to be present today. Um, Andre is the youngest mayor in Peekskill. Vanessa is the youngest councilwoman for the first time. Oh, and for the first time. Two Hispanic Americans are elected in the same election. Yes. Are elected in the same um in the same election and will be part of the Common Council. The first um, Colombian American and the first Dominican American elected in the city of Pisco. Yes, now I got Dominican work. and Colombian family. <laughs> I, I, I gotta say that. I'm sorry. Thanks, Go ahead. Thanks to everybody. Who trusted us? Um, that's what he said. And then he had another comment <coughs> before that. I can't find it. So, but, uh, <laughs> but that, that was that was the most important one, though. I wanted to get that out like a half an hour ago. He said that. <laughs> uh, Much love, Ramon. Peace, my brother. Um, again, thanks to, to Colin Smith, uh, Vanessa Agudelo, Ramon Fernandez, the entire city of Peace Guild for coming out and, sh and you know letting their voices be heard. The PDCC for standing behind us. My family, my friends, of course, put God first. Uh, my biggest inspiration, my son. Um, and Absolutely. I, 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 look, I, I look forward to, to serving the city and, uh, you know, putting it in a direction where everybody can be taken care of, um, you know, despite your background, where you're from, your, your sexual preference, your age, your handicap. You know, it's, it's about unifying the city and, and looking out for everyone. You mm -hmm. know, and education is always going to be my main priority. Uh, I think the kids always deserve an opportunity at life. Um, you know, things that I didn't get to experience, they should have. Things that I did get to experience, they should definitely have. 
Um, but we're always going to focus on that. That's going to always help. You know, the reputation, of, the reputation of our education and our population of our graduates is going to is going to be what's going to bring the developers to our city, that's bring right. the families to our city, keep the taxes where they should be. So we're we're going to make sure that's the main priority. I want to thank everybody in the city of Pisco that's reached out to me since I've um, got the announcement. I haven't been able to reach out to everybody and say thank you like I want to. I've been a little under the weather. Uh, the day after the election, my body just said, sit down, boy. So, <laughs> I, I, you know, I, I've been kind of in and out of the bed the last couple of days. Saturday at the veterans ceremony was the first time I got out of bed to actually do something to show my respects to the veterans of the um, you know, United States. So, But, again, everybody who I haven't reached out to yet, I, I plan on doing it this week. Thank you all, everybody on Facebook, and, again, everybody that supported us, everybody that was against us. <laughs> um, <laughs> we, won, uh, uh, um, we won, but that doesn't mean that my arms are closed. Uh, I welcome you too. You can still right. reach out. You know, you didn't have to vote for me to get my support or help in the situation in the city of Peace Kill. So um, there's no hard feelings. None of the comments that was made on Facebook, I don't take it personal. <laughs> 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 my family right. may take it personal, but right, I'm, right, right. I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm smiling and moving. So, and uh, right. last but not least, thank you, Black Westchester, for having me down here again. Um, I will take your advice and use this as a platform to get our word That's out. That's right. I will definitely make sure I continue to let the, make sure the PDC supports you and your, your, your paper out now yeah, that you yeah, guys yeah, are doing yeah. that. You know, we make sure we pat every time y'all bring them up, we make sure we distribute them for you. You know, like the thank you. I appreciate it. I got you. You know, but thank you all. You know, for thank your time you, brother. And, uh, once you get, you once you get settled, um, I'm not sure if you're a writer, right? If you want to get a monthly column on what's going on in your city. Uh, oh, without a doubt. Yeah, then yeah. Well, well, that Y'all going to come up with inauguration, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, some, oh, sometimes yeah, long, yeah, yeah right. I hope yeah. all these inaugurations don't happen on the same night, man. <laughs> I know, right, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm like, right. yeah, but one thing I want to tell you, man, it, it, someone told me it was a joke. They said, look, when you get into politics, you always forgive and forget. But your wife? She never forgives us again. It's our job to forgive and forget because right. right. you right. got to move on, right. you know. Right. Right. But they said, your wife, she ain't going to never forgive us again. Right, right, no doubt. But again, thank you. I appreciate y'all. Thank uh, you, bro. Jack, Jack Toon just said Black West Justice is making it happen. Man, you talk Shout out to Kenneth Chamberlain Jr. on the check Yes, sir, brother. It's always, man. Always uh, my brother, uh, WM uh, Bunch, any uh, last words, anything we didn't ask you about your book or future plans? or Life, brother. We'll be in touch. Yeah. All right. Um, um, Congratulations. First, first of all, thank you so much for, for having me here. Um, it's just good to get another opportunity to let people know who you are and what, what you do and what, you know, another source of um, entertainment. Right. Um, I thank Ms. Crump and... Um, Definitely support your black authors. It's not that many of us out here. Absolutely. It's not that many of us out there. It's, it's, and, you know, this thing is that a lot of the publishers say we don't read. Well, well, That's you know, a lie. We know, read all the time, but we choose to read what we want to read. But, you know, but you, there's, a, there's a thing, you know, we, we um, every time you go, everything you send your dollar for, you're casting, you're, you're, you're casting, a ballot for what it is you, you want to support. You That's know what right. I'm saying? It's That's like, right. and, and right. it's like, like you know, with the black movies, it was like, yo, they don't want to see anything other than what we're giving them. That's right. Because they, everything that did come out beyond that, we did not support. Right. You, you understand what I'm saying? Right. And, and the well, same definitely. thing with our black literature. You know, we have a wealth of stories to tell right. from a lot of different sides. None of us, are, no two of us are the same and have the same experiences. And, you know, once more of our story is told, That's right. you, you, you know what I'm saying, by us. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Then there's a better understanding overall. You know what I'm saying? So Yeah, we have to control the narrative. We have to do our own thing. And, yes. don't, and I, I say this too. You need, we need, as a writer, an aspiring writer, write your own book. Today we're in 2017. You don't have to wait until these publishers say well I'm going to choose what you know what you have as commercial you you, you right. got you get now you got Amazon you can be an Amazon I'm an Amazon digital um, um publisher there you go you, I, yo I could literally drop a book every Wednesday that's if I want right. <laughs> you know, that's, like, Seriously, that's my point yeah. I mean that's I, I don't point. I don't there's yeah. a lot of writing but I that's literally can I set it in and once you and once the graphics are good and everything's formatted that's bang right. it's available that's you a, know that's what I'm saying exactly it's, it's it a digital is. version like you can drop a book every Wednesday if you want it we have control of our voices today guys and women right First, learn your skill. Uh, you got to sharpen your skill because everybody's gonna, not going to buy a book just because you put it out there. That's a, and, that, right, right, right. and even right. once you learn your skill, 
they're still not going to go out and buy because now you got to hustle and do the marketing. But right, 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 right. the point is, the dream is there. Support your people, but also encourage them. And when you see your actors or anybody in the, in the business, go support them. We spend a lot of money on nails. <laughs> we spend a lot of money <laughs> on hair. Hey, <laughs> yeah. He said, "You better watch that." <laughs> but, but we. Yeah, uh, right, but what happened is that the things right. that's going to elevate us and take us out of poverty is we need to invest in ourselves. Exactly. exactly. I, I, exactly. And that's the writing, and that's the controlling what right. we say. Right. That's right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because once we control what's being said about us, we move from you that poverty. Control the narrative. Right. Right. As right. we right. control the narrative, we're not waiting around until somebody else tells the story. Right. 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 What's right. that African? What's that proverb? Um, mm. The hunter always has the best story. The well, lion is not telling that story. Right, right. right. Well, the, that's why we say, have to history, put history, the history is always written by the winner. By the, that's it. By the, the, by the victor. You that's know what I'm saying? It. So you no know, matter what they say, they, they won. You know, like, you know what I'm saying? Like that's the right. other side is never telling their story. That's there is right. no other side to tell. So just go out there. Mm -hmm. Do your thing. Support your people. Don't wait until mm -hmm. someone gives you permission. Right. Take the initiative and go do your thing. Brenda. And then support me. Support me, support other black writers. Absolutely. That's it. Brenda, 30 Thank seconds you. or less. Black West just <laughs> continue to do what you're doing, informing, enlightening, educating, and empowering people, empowering mm. the community Amen. of the facts. Amen. I love you, Just Brenda the facts. Trump. Amen. Calm down. Give me just the facts. Oh, she's awesome. I love her. Lorraine, 30 seconds oh, or less. Oh, oh, okay. 30 seconds or less. Okay. This is a shout out to County Executive Elect Latimer. You need to put either my man, um, uh, Damon K. Jones, no, 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 Max no. Maxwell, no, 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 no. or AJ Simpson. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I don't no, care no, what no. you say. I'm your transition team. No, because I don't want to be there's on, over no, 200 I people I don't need on to be, the transition team. I don't need to be you on the transition team. You don't need to be in it. You don't need to no, be in it. I but somebody in the team needs to, to right. be in it. Right. Um, am I right or am I wrong? Rashad, 30 seconds or less. Um, yeah, uh, Black Westchester, continue the good work. And once again, I just want to give a shout out to Greenberg Central 7 uh, School District, Dr. Chase. Absolutely. Um, they for, for bringing me in, and we, we're going to team up, and we're going to implement that financial literacy program for the kids with um, my brother's Keeper Initiative by President Obama. So thank you. Um, once again, thank you. Appreciate it. Awesome, Damon, 15 seconds. <laughs> well, I wanted to say I, something. I know, and I can't do <laughs> No, post it up. Post it up. Um, the thing is not coming up today. All right. Thing, yeah, well, like well, I wanted to talk about um, the NYPD uh, cabinet uh, scam that they're going trying to um, defame or kill the reputation of our brother um, Edmund Raymond, the young man who put together um, black cops supporting Kaepernick. Um, they they created a lie, and we'll get in that sooner or later. That's it. You could be doing anything else if you decided to ride with us, and we greatly appreciate it. This is Black West as it presents the People Before Politics radio show every Sunday, 6 to 8, on IntheMixRadio.com. Until next week, peace. 22 million black victims of Americanism are waking up, and they're gaining a new political consciousness, becoming politically mature. And as they become, uh, develop this political maturity, they're able to see the recent trends in these uh, political elections. The any minority that has a block of votes that stick together is in a strategic position. Hey, either way you go, that's who gets it. You're, you're in a position to determine who go to the White House and who stay in the doghouse. You're the one who has that power. You, you and I have never seen democracy. All we've seen is hypocrisy. When we open our eyes today and look around America, we see America not through the eyes of someone who has, who has enjoyed the fruits of Americanism. We see America through the eyes of someone who has been the victim of Americanism. We don't see any American dream. We've experienced only the American nightmare. We haven't benefited from America's democracy. We've only suffered from America's hypocrisy. And the generation that's coming up now can see it and are not afraid to say it. 
and I'm not afraid to say, 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 and I'm and I'm not afraid to say, and I'm not afraid to say, and I'm not afraid to say, and I'm not afraid to say.